Hello there and welcome to this grand finals for Company of Heroes 1. You're going to be watching a best of five on random maps featuring Dexen and BK Mod Test, the best player in, in Co. 1's recent history. Before we get there, let's go and look at the brackets briefly and show you how they got to this massive prize pool event. It's a $1,500 uh, event uh, funded by the organizer. The organizer. <laughs> And uh, there's Dexon for you. The organizer was Medicus, and this is his Discord channel here. Uh, st it's strategy, because it's German, so he's a German dude. And the finalists, as we were mentioning, is BK Moltes, who's beaten Happiness, Nozliu, and Demare. So he's 2 nilled everybody, but guess what? So's Dexon, coming from the, the south half of the bracket. Green Beret, the reigning co uh, one one versus one tournament champion, was 2 owed in round one. He then beats Swede. Uh, formerly known as B Sky Revolution, and then Pepsi, which I cast earlier today. So, without further ado, chat, are you ready? We've got 155 live viewers. YouTube audience of the future, are you ready? We have what should be a very, very decent uh, Company Heroes 1 Grand Final, and I'm press pressing play in. 3, 2, 1, and that's right, it's Dexon with his Panzer Elite on the east side of Flooded Plains. We saw him play today on this map versus Pepsi, and he's laying down the law of tournament experience by saying which game of the, which the replay relates to. It's the finals with a Z. And from the west side, he's a three-time Co-1 tournament champion. That's right, there have been a lot of Co-1 tournaments while Co-2 has been happening. And in this case, Eastern Fronts mod test, repping uh, Eastern Fronts there with his name. People don't know this about BK mod test, they just think of him as the best. Um, coming here as one player of the last five years? No, 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 he's not just that. He's also a mod tester, who would have thought it? The BK stands for Blitzkrieg. And in this case, he's um, of course going to be playing in an Eastern Fronts tournament, which I believe is happening in the next few weeks. Why is AE casting primarily Co. 1 at the moment? Well, that's where the tournament action's at. That's where the the drama's at and the hype. Because um, the Co. 1 players just love a good tournament. And in this case, this Discord community are hosting one for $1,500. So it's pretty bloody hype. The music's really loud in my ears. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. There we go. Panzer um, Grenadiers. Of course, are the flavour of the day for Panzer Elite. This is the G43 Recon Squad that you start with. And is Flooded playing a good map for um, Panzer Elite action? Well, considering how long this game took to be played, we were waiting for it in chat for a very long time. I'm going to say that we're in for a very good game one. I'm going to say that on YouTube, don't go searching for game two or three, trying to see how long this big upload is. Just watch game one because I've got... A feeling it's a very good one. It is a best of five today, so A will be trying to nurse himself into this. I've already cast two games to a, a decent standard of intensity, so I need to protect myself a little bit. First engagement on screen. Uh, thanks for the uh, sub gift, Arclight, giving it to Zany's up. The subs do power my hype, knowing I'm making a few pennies for my troubles. But mostly my love of company heroes powers said hi. Right, we've got a Jeep for EF mod test. I wonder if he's going to be going uh, for raid in this game. Bit of armor company, perhaps. Perhaps. Oh, no, he's not going for the fuel. I thought he might do. What a gorgeous game it truly is. You can only hope that company heroes 3 looks half as good as this. So far, it looks like it probably will. But they just need to get... Um... Oh, the music, as, as Jibber says. Big Co 2 fan chat jibber also a co one fan same as me and you've got to hand it to the composers of the company as one soundtrack it's so atmospheric i do not cast co2 with the soundtrack options on put it that way anyway the jeep's not done much yet he's just going to get repaired straight back into action just slight fine margins there seems to me though that uh, this rather subdued start from the German, playing as the US. Mod test. Uh, seems to have been put up against the hard front of the Panzer Grenadiers. Got some good munitions control for Dexen thus far. From Georgia, south of Russia. Uh, a very good holiday destinations for young Russians this year. 
with the added bonus of being able to live. Alright, rifles pushing in. That's what the heavy cover they can push behind. We are losing ground. And pushing them out of cover. There you go. But this rifle squad was actually focused firing these Panzer Grenadiers here. This, if he can defend against this, he's a genius, the man. And he is so far. That's four squads he was able to control with a Jeep. That's the power of a light vehicle. A class of vehicle that will be returning to Company Heroes. For Company Heroes 3, because light vehicles in Code 2 didn't work the same way. The main reason is the turning circle. Um, they unfortunately lost in the code the ability to do the tight-knit turning circles. And uh, we weren't able to see the same class of manoeuvrable super light vehicles. Yeah, Stalin was uh, Georgian, Hitler was Austrian. It's very strange, isn't it, that the uh, most famous and destructive dictators of their respective countries weren't actually from those countries. Also, uh, Napoleon was from Corsica, wasn't he? And Churchill was Jamaican. Engineers with a flamethrower forced out of battle. But this Jeep is causing a nightmare so far. And that Panzer Grenadier squad there in particular is very low on health. But there's some good heavy cover in the way now. Nope, the Jeep's shooting over it. It's the advantage of having that uh, the enemy is 30 cal on a raised bed. What else have we got going on? Oh, the uh, Kettenkrads being naughty. And in the north, well, that's the middle, actually. I've lost my uh, strip. There we go. It's better. Uh, the middle, we've got an extra G43 recon squad spotting mines and causing crimes. Mostly killing many Americans. Oh, we've got three now. We've got a tactical blobbin group of uh, G43 Panzer Grenadiers. Might leave themselves exposed to double M8 if he does that, I'm thinking. It's an option anyway. Uh, former former glider of the Royal Air Force there. There we go, we've gone for the Camp Grouper Company. Remind me guys, what did you get out of that? I'm thinking infantry half-tracks, maybe mortar half-tracks. Not sure that's the one with the, the light anti-tank half-track, is it? That'll be the next one, probably. That's right, Arclight. It's right next to Italy. Definitely French. I do need a little bit of help with my Panzer Elite knowledge at times, considering I didn't really play much of this faction when I used to play Co. Panzer Jaeger Command has been built. That's the one with the half track. There you go, the light arc AT. That's the one he wants. And he's getting. Yes, there it is. It's the uh, scout car. With very decent fuel control so far from Dexon. Um, but he has lost them recently, but he's had enough to get there. Pretty bloody quickly. The death drum of the Panzer Elite will be out very shortly. Causing all kinds of problems. The Yankees are grabbing our territory. Busy capping at the moment. What's this? Jeep has been a thorn in Dexon's side. Oh, damaged engine finally though. Will he be able to finish it off here? Looks unlikely, unless he gets some monstrous criticals, but the repair is in. And he's trying to tempt him into going for it. Clever by mod test. North side, rifles forced off. Ah, excuse me, the Falklands are definitely British. How dare you? How dare you? It's not about geographically where they're from. It's about what flag sits in them. And the British had a very good flag factory for 300 years, but unfortunately they've run out of flags recently. Now it's the, uh, the Americans that have the best flag factory. Right, here comes the death drum. And the rifles are forced off over the... Uh, Ravine there, so it should be fine. Really good capping this game, and uh, a lot of Panzer Grenadiers in total. There's five in total with a Kettenkrad, and that just explains how he's been able to get this out so early. A Panzer Support Command as well. That's one with the light anti tank half track in it, I think. 
probably be Andrew Fight. I watched a video on it. It swapped hands about 50 times, Corsica did, I think. Depending on what year um, it was, you were either French or you were Italian. We'll check this North engagement temporarily. Just some vanilla dudes being vanilla, shooting bullets at one another. One of them just died. He's worried there's a flame pop in there, so... Forced away. He's got very low health here, so he's, he's, I wonder if he's got triage up in base. Because he may have wanted to... He wouldn't have stood his ground, to be honest, but... No, he hasn't. Oh my god, it's the T-17! I haven't seen this in years! It's like the Staghound, only American, and it doesn't bug out. It's a beefy boy. A beefy boy on four wheels without the ability to drive through a flower bed, it would seem. But that is a thing. Wow. Come on, you can show better driving skills than this. Did he accidentally leave Tales of Valor units on? Because from what I recall, top level players tend to get more value out of an M8. Yeah, that was, yeah, it's pretty crap, isn't it? But here we go. It's got a limited window of opportunity. Very good first shot, at least. And a good second shot. And forcing those dudes away. Mild jeeps, ready to tango again. Rifles. They're under a lot of pressure. So are the flamer engineers. Oh, here he is already. Light 88 with a destroyed engine. Immobilized and a destroyed engine. That is one stationary armored car. Any other criticals you can roll? Maybe no legs? It would have been funny if he got a squad wipe boss, he was still... He got Vectra C1! What was he thinking with that? Yeah, the no life crit, exactly. Well, we've all got the low life, the no life crit, haven't we? We're all watching a 16-year-old um, RTS game with 140 odd people in a Twitch stream on a Sunday afternoon. Low life critical! And he's destroying the vehicle. He's trying to. He's smacking it in the booty. Oh, this is uh, for Pornhub, I think. Are we caught in a time loop? Oh, no, we're certainly not. There we go. I thought we were caught in a time loop. A lot of attack probes going on. Damaged engine on this armoured car. Yeah, it was badass, wasn't it, doggy? Surprisingly good against infantry as well. And he's just a happy little boy. We're going to get a mortar half track next. Okay, just tempting him to go for AT guns, I guess, so he can burn them out. And what's our opponent thinking? He's not building anything from motor pool at the moment, so no AT guns inbound. I wonder what commander, or doctrine rather, he's going to choose. Let's see, EF mod test, neither. He's got display of that. Who, who do you think is going to win this first game, guys? Any bets? We know it's going to be a long replay. We know it's going to be competitive because it has been thus far. These guys are undefeated so far in the tournament. Yes, it did, Jibber. It, if you notice, when there's a lot of fighting, it kind of fades back in. Really? Three layers? That's so cool. So this game is a work of art. Obviously, we're you know we're mostly Co. Two players, aren't we, Jibber? And that's way more refined and easier to play. And the dream has always been if you could have Co. One's artistic aesthetic and all the craftsmanship that went into it, because a very well crafted thing with the quality of life and ease of use features of Co. Two. Uh, they just have a license to print money. To be honest, just a full on true to life remaster of Code 1 with uh, a few balance tweaks and the quality of life of Code 2. I mean, we'd all be happy, right? Also fix a few bugs as well whilst they're at it. That's the main one. <laughs> it's impossible to play as a Code 2 noob these days, Code 1. Can't do it. Ooh, we've got Overdrive Engage zipping out of there from those sticky bombs. Game's heating up again, so the music fades back in. Uh, he's definitely within sticky range now, and he's assuming he hasn't got them, and he mustn't do. Meanwhile, double engineers force away that squad. 
zooms back in. Ooh, the Jeep's immobilized. He's just used a tread brake on a Jeep. And he's gonna mortar the Jeep. <laughs> oh, AT guns found the mortar half track though. Oh, the little Jeep's still alive. Go away, you bully. That's dead. There we go. Rifle's getting forced off. Meanwhile, in the center, we've got another half track. AT half track, rather. Pegrin's low. Is there anybody in retreat? Doesn't look like it. Looks like he'll be able to get away safe and sound. Attention. The enemy advances. Just felt a mine detonate somewhere. It's shuddering the screen. Also got this AT gun. Been under target for the mortar half track, it seems. I think it was these guys maybe triggering a mine there. Back in base for the Yankees. Looks like we're going for another AT gun, probably. And I wonder what doctrine he's going to choose. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe he's not chosen that quite yet. Got some STGs on this, making it an assault panel's a good idea. It's three G43s and an STG. Uh, and then the armor forces. We've got the armored car with six kills. The enemy is got the mortar half track with no kills. The light AT with two vehicle destroyers and two infantry kills. And then this fresh one, which hasn't supply. done anything yet. Meanwhile, for our um, EF mod test best player of the last five years, um, he's got three flamer engineers, four rifles, and two AT guns. And to be honest, that build doesn't seem to be doing too much so far. The T-17 died very early, didn't seem to help him very much, let's face it. Going back to Dexed now, and okay, the colours back to how they were. Low, one man, Pigrand, retreating there. Got the AT gun pushing up, and the loser's in infantry, the AT gun could be in a difficult predicament. And he's not going to choose to fire it, I think. Oh, he has an option now. And he gets a good shot in there. Does he have stickies now? No, he really could have done them with the Advet 2 sticky range as well. He definitely would have got that off. He's suppressed from the G43s. Oh, he got it just before he was decrewed there. Oh my god, that was so close. So close. I think he tried to get past and got hit just as it died. Literally micro, microseconds difference. Like the last shell of the armored car must have left it as the AT gun round hit. That's awesome. We are going for Tank Destroyer Doctrine with the Hetz is going to hate appearing around about here. A little Czechoslovakian uh, trapezoid of death. It was a mine. Ah, it was a mine. That makes more sense. Thanks, guys. I like my narrative more, but a mine makes more sense. Thank you, Androvite. Shut up, guys. I've, I've already cast two games today, and they were quite uh, intense, so I'm a little bit tired. But uh, I'll be all right. Only got a best of five, featuring the two grand finalists. I'll be fine. Damaged engine, and the Hetz is dead. There's your stickies. You do get the credit, mate. Cheer up, pal. Should... Oh, no. x Para said it first, then cheer up, pal. Then Kiwi Bannon. Then Stamo Pet. But other than that, Androphite. EF mod test losing Vetracy 1 on the AT gun, getting decrewed. There are engineers and riflemen coming to help out though. Oh, nice mine there. That was definitely was a mine this time. AT gun's going to fall back into American hands. Ooh, this could be bad. Oh no! There you go, there's the sticky. And. Still alive somehow. AT gun's gonna get that, that veterancy one in no time. I don't know what's going on with the micro contador. This is allegedly the grand finalist. And AT gun takes out the other half track up there. What is going on? I swear Dexen does this in the past as well. Is this definitely the right replay? There it is. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Yeah, it could be nerves. True, true.
would not like to be in that house. Although it doesn't seem to be having much effect. Visually, though, it looks stunning. If only they weren't in a house, the old crow. Which does seem to nullify the effect of it entirely. He pretty much lost everything except for this boy, the mortar half track, Losing with two kills. Depot. Drink. Yeah, Panthers probably. He's gone for every vehicle, hasn't he? That's a good shout. 1,000 manpower and have fun. And here's the Hetzer, this time with binoculars. He'll be so much more powerful now. In the north. Engineers forced off. He's staying in somehow, though, isn't he? Bless him. You'd really hope that we'd have Tank Depot or something from uh, EF Mod Test. Let's see what he's thinking instead. Ah, he's gone for armor. Surprising he didn't do that earlier when he had the Jeep that could have been capping. Great forces off the Pegren. What are we thinking in base? I'd heard Hetzer Tank Destroyer has arrived, but. I think he's already sorry on the field, so I don't quite understand that call. No kills still for the uh, the M17 or M16, whatever its designation is. Mine in the south, forcing off those pegrins. Very low health. Yeah, Czech Republic. That's what I said, right? Squad movements in the middle, pushing out into the centre. We do have a VET 2 rifle squad, which is good. Nine kills and one vehicle destroy. Good amount of experience given. Yeah, it seems 50 50 Contador. I'd go with that. Oh, another mine there. Really just laying down the hurt with this. Oh, and he's going to block him in, perhaps. No, didn't get the block off. But we'll get the kill, surely. There you go. Veterans, you won on that rifle. I tell you what, if EF loses this. He's um, something, he gets like a bug splat or something. There's no way. Based on this army, I just, I mean, Contador says it's 50-50, but the infantry veterans is really going to start to hard carry. Yeah, exactly. Uh, A1, B2, C, D, D from Korea. It just the infantry veterans is the difference maker. Look at the range on that sticky. Mobilized and rolls another one. That's brutal. Hetzers are 600 manpower every go, and he's now wasted 1,200 manpower in useless Hetzers. Pushes in here. Could take out the uh, mortar off track, which would be quite funny. Hetzer, of course, only had 17 degrees of turning angle on that uh, turret. Gun damaged! Oh my god! What is this game? He's got two of them on that frontal armor. Ah! <laughs> it's still alive! What the hell is this? Oh, that 5% bug is trash. We got Veteracy 1 on the PM1 there. And he built another one. Of course he did. Just this game 1 is, is really insane so far. I don't know what's going on. Just messy. We hasn't the been the highest the skill level stuff despite both players being absolute killers maybe because the best of five they're kind of a little bit nervous there's one thousand five hundred dollars on the line in this tournament we have but i have to just call it the standard hasn't been as high as you'd expect yet uh, the semi-final earlier today was an incredibly high standard of play at times Uh, although the crits, uh, Dexens suffered this game. Maybe he's just tilted. And the players should be settling in now, one would imagine. We're 23 minutes into this best of five. It's a lot of money at stake. Victory point wise, of course. Um, BK mod test is absolutely dominating at the moment. 4, 6, 3, the 3, 1, something. My webcam blocks the full number there. 
Right, manpower-wise, he's at 170. I'm sh presuming he's going to get all three upgrades soon. He's down to three Panzer Grenadiers at the moment. EF mod test, meanwhile, three gr engineers. Still not lost a single one, not lost any rifles. Still, well, he's got three AT guns now total. Enemy is down to three. Just going forward, such an interesting build order. And this goes straight into Pershing, seemingly. Straight in there, no messing. Or is that the right side, and then he's going to have to go left side? That might be the case, in which case, obviously, he's just going for the Calliope, possibly. Yeah, he's got Cali's. My, my, beg my pardon, sorry, guys. I remembered that they the split Pershing and Cali after the first um, two years of Co-1. Originally, Pershing and Cali were on the same side, and can anybody remember why the Calliope was even more OP when it first came out? Anybody know the answer to that question in chat? A good bit of Co-1 trivia for you. If you, um, it could fire its main gun. That's exactly right, Jibber. One of those powerful units in uh, Company Heroes history there. Calliope with rockets and a main gun. It was just insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, the, the delay's killing some people out there. Vector, get older. You're such a noob. What the fuck? I was like... 16, and I was loving this game when it came out. It's brilliant. 17, 16, something like that. Perfect time for A to get his first computer. Sadly, though, I could only play 1v1s against AI when it first came out because my computer was not good enough. I had 512 megabytes of RAM when Company Heroes first came out. The uh, It was brutal. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, you're young. Well done. Yeah, well, I, I've always told the story of how I won my first auto match game. My housemate who taught me to play Coming Heroes, he just came and unplugged my Ethernet and put it back in again and said, Well done, you've won, and then walked off. <laughs> I was like, What are you doing, mate? I'm trying to win here. <laughs> he spots the mines with the G43s and deletes them. I'm 33, comfortable. Yeah, I've got a youngish face. Lost some weight recently, that helps. Um, yeah, I've got baby face cheeks. I don't look that young in real life, though. Nagano, I am not your friend, and stop stop posting that emote. No, no, Nagano, please. He posts the emote with the eye bulging out face, and because I get a lazy eye when I'm very tired, I take it very personally, and it upsets me. But I always then reply with Nagano. Um, has anybody seen my friend Nagano? I'm looking for his PayPal account, because I do kind of owe that guy $1,800, and I have no means to give it him. Can now use armor piercing also, by the way, if you want to hear a hot take, when um, this war first started happening, I asked Nagano, like, uh, how long do you think it'll last? He was like, a week. <laughs> it's like, like nine months later. <laughs> funny. We're not going to get political, though. We're not getting political. I just thought it was funny. Right, anyway, here we go. we got the Calliope. No main gun allowed. Yeah, must be. What else is going on? I just feel like this game is like a slow death now for the uh, the Axis, the Panzer Elite player. I mean, maybe Panthers from the Gods can save things, but the the dodgy Hetzer play has been a little bit kind of unfortunate for him because of the immobilized criticals. But other than that, it was just a bit. Ow, my face. <laughs> Met she is, yeah. Dexon should invite uh, all the Co-1 um, Russian players to come stay with him. Sir, we have a new half-track ready for combat. 
do you mean he's, he's got plenty of use for this fuel? He's got the uh, light or anti tank off track. Two hundred and ninety-four fuel. Wow. Again, Hetz is having a great day. They've been a damaged engine with two more rifle squads pushing in and no way to defend themselves. There's another one. Ha, ha, ha. Here comes two Panzer Grenadier squads, but I'm not sure that it'll help. Does he have enough meaning? Yes. I think this one will be a big crit. We're rolling a crit. Oh, he's been circumcised. Oh, that's not a great idea. Don't push in with that against two anti-tank vehicles. There comes the 18 gun. A little bit late to the party, but oh well. Oh, what a Calliope Mirage. He gets a squad wipe there. He may even kill the Hetzer at this rate. There we go, Calliope gets the kill. Oh, at least I think it did. Yes, it did, there you go. Heavy armor kill counter. One. Well, he should have said GG. He should have said GG after that second Hetza died, because it was over. That's why I stopped typecasting, to be honest. Just kind of started talking about rubbish. Immobilize criticals on Hetzas. Name a more iconic combination. And this one becomes Vet 2 now. There you go. Just strange strategic decision making from Dexter. I don't know what he was thinking. And to be honest, some of his micro has not been there either. Meanwhile, uh, EF mod test kind of went for this infantry heavy build with a few AT guns, which is, you know, great US play because it puts the emphasis on the rifles getting the kills, meaning you get veterans on your rifles, which is the backbone of your army. Painful. The only way Dexan could have won this is if he grew a Stalin-style moustache. Everyone knows Georgians get their true power when they have a big moustache. Should have told him that. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I love the, the crashing sound on them. Sounds like pots and pans falling off the, um, the shelf. Well, he's backed himself in a corner saying all this rubbish in, ch in, uh, in streams and stuff because he's played with nerves in this game. He's not played fluidly or loosely. He's made erratic decisions and it's not a great start to a best of five, but he has got time to come past and uh, get, get it back. But we've got to wait now. The Americans are capturing a sector. And we've had to suffer through this game one, which has been a bit erratic and not exactly a classic. Yeah, we have to keep looking at the cards, unfortunately, and we have to keep swapping player cards. It's not actually a casting overlay, that's why. And KOTU actually has a casting overlay. It is rare, but six kills so far and a vehicle destroy, not too bad. Why am I calmly explaining Dexen's shortcomings? Huh, because I'm casting a competitive tournament final, and that's literally what's happened. I'm not dissing him as a person. Um, it's, it's like a sport. You have to pretend it's like a sport. They're playing for money, and right now, unfortunately for Dexen, he's not played very well. He played very well in the semi-final earlier today. Very well. He felt like a master of the game in the semi-final, but this game has clearly had nerves. And it's not one to plan for him. Doesn't mean he's out of the best of five, though. It's a best of five. Game one goes badly. You've, you've just warmed up. That's all it means. The Code 2 audience is used to the casters um, talking about the players' failings. And you just have to get over it. It's part of uh, competitive gaming. Oh, 
Oh, exactly. Every game is a best of one. You know, the famous Dev M said that. He treated every game like it was a best of one in like his life depended on it, and that's how he played. So if he loses game one, it literally doesn't matter. Game two is just is the next game. Uh, it's as simple as that. Don't get psychologically defeated. And let's hope that uh, for Dexen, he's got the same mentality. Let's hope he's just warming up. He's playing erratically and he's um, not having the best game one. But let's hope that game two is just another game. And he can get on with it and start to excite us again. Well, I will say this. He did have a lot of immobilized criticals this game. And it would have been infuriating to many of us. Moral victory incoming if he can just beat the M17. Randomly, the announcer keeps talking about Hetzers all the time. We're up to nine kills now on the M17. Unit down. Unit down somewhere. Seems like these guys died on retreat there. I should have followed that. I didn't think he would follow it, to be honest. But he did, and then he went past the Hetzer. So, absolute Giga Chad move there. Just follow and kill the squad and then get past the tank destroyer. Another immobilized critical! No, not this time. Playback over. There we go. I predict the reason that was such a weird game, I think Dexen was just warming up, to be honest, because he, he had a bad strategic start. It went downhill from there. And uh, yeah, no GG. He's clearly a little bit annoyed. But it is what it is. Alright, the man sent me the second one now. Let's see what we're going for here. It wasn't a GG, it was a bad game that was, to be honest. Uh, it's really disappointing because the semi-final I cast earlier today was really good. Uh, it was really funny and um, had some great moments. But yeah, sometimes grand finals could be like this. Doesn't mean they're going to continue like this. We may be in a, for a very good game too. We may be. Yeah, there was a lot of luck on B, on BK side. I'll, I'll say that Nagano. There's immobilized criticals, but uh, just I don't know. You've got to think of it this way. He strategically hard countered tank destroyer doctrine. He knew it was up. He knew it was up against it. So he went for four rifles, three flamer engineers, and three AT guns. That's a strategic hard counter. So it, the onus was on the Panzer Elite player to not keep going Hetzers. Yet he kept going Hetzers. So, you know, it's one of them. Uh, so, no, you know, no disrespect meant for Dexen there. But I feel he should have realised that he should have fully reconnaissanced his opponents and understood that it was a hard kind of strategic counter IMO. You should always say GG, though, even if it's a BG, to be honest. It's not clearly not the best tank. It's the cutest tank. Little 17 degree. Or is it like 23 degrees and then 17 degrees? Something like that. I think it's, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's best of five. Budget stug. Oh. Anybody disagreeing with my assessment? Anybody not feeling that's accurate? The next game starts in about three minutes' time. Uh, just gonna go grab a beer. Right back, sec.
beer. Check. Game two. Check. Let's go. Downstairs. I used to have one up here. <laughs> Chinese hacker, check. Tank, check. That's funny, well played. Game two, let's go. Ruins of Rouen. Wrong overlay. Correct overlay. Right, BK mod, 1-0 up. Who would have guessed that? Wow. Press the any key. Where's the any key? <laughs> uh, classic. Let's have some of this. Uh, today's sponsor is Hobgoblin Ale. Ruby beer. 5.2%. It is, but fortunately for you, Batazuna, you're going to be watching one of the best Vermac players in the world. 3, 2, 1. We are live with game two. We've got Daxon's USF in the north. We've got the orange of Mod Test's Vermac. Let's sort that out. Let's have uh, player colour off. There we go. Make them red. Much better. G2. Good luck. Have fun, gentlemen. Let's hope, for Dexon's sake, that he just had a bit of nerves, he had a strategic blunder, and he kind of just played the game out. He wasn't hoping to win because it was a very shaky game with many, many hetzes built that became very immobilized. In this game, he's going to be playing Vermat on Ruins of Ruen, which is very difficult to play on because of all of these buildings. Long avenues with a lot of flanking routes. Very difficult to set an MG up here and expect it to just dominate because it's so easy to be flanked. Um, the fuel situation, you got plus fives with a cutoff here and a plus ten. That's mirrored there. So it's all about trying to, you know, defend your area. So, you know, one L one area of control for Vermat would be here. But then again you do have, as I say, flanking routes in and out with walls and stuff. Which makes it very difficult really. USF of course, it's a very good map for M8 play. Get the M8 zipping round. Let's see uh, how Dexen does. Point is ours. Let's say we lock it down. Just let the capping happen for a while. And drink beer. Naval company has the point. Anybody watching for the first time today? Naval first time watching competitive co one, anybody? First time, okay, welcome. Anybody been watching Co One for uh, over a decade? Any old guys in chat? I remember the really early days of Bridges and Pounders, Amiport Siphon, and uh, 
Is mate now? What's his mate? NTD, that was it. More rifles pouring onto the field. Yeah, Razor, that was a good player. I think I think Dexon's going to get back in the series. He had a shaky game one, but he's got USF on Ruins of Ruen. I think he's got a very good chance. Richard is waiting for them. Meanwhile, in the east, this is a, an often a big point of contention, this rail yard here. Back over in the west, the rifles are pouring in. No flamethrower coming up for these guys, just the grease guns enough to force those close grenadiers off. He's going to cap that point for now. He's decided to focus fire the engineers, it was a good idea, he got a good amount of kills on them. He's just going to lead the rifles away. Some shitty focus fires in on the retreat path there, to be honest. He's going to make it to this large um, railway repair centre. It's just his play is phenomenal, isn't it? Mod test, he's able to uh, keep two squads busy with only one there. And then take refuge in a huge ass garrison. Just in the perfect timing. And force the rifles away? You've got to be joking me. One folks grenade a squad. And he just turned it into a victory. Peeled away at the right moment. And then the second time. Classic case of call an ambulance, but not for me. He was just able to massage the situation in his favour. More rifles come to the situation. And the three man folks grenades get away. Back into the loving the embrace of their headquarters building point. to get two extra members on that squad. Meanwhile, we've got some hard retreats from some rifles here rifle with a full squad, health amongst them. Maybe they just want to, you know, group up with the other squads get and get off. ready for war. We are going to have four squads in total reappearing on the battlefield. Maybe they're able to draw a good battle line. Let's see what direction they go in. Got this MG here. So maybe they could form a flank. On it, perhaps. Is One squad going up the western side here. And there's that folks around here with a sniper supporting him now. Sniper's first shot's going to be now. There you go. You know, be room for despair and alarm. 2S, no, just the one. I think. It's a one sniper only tournament, by the way, everybody. You cannot go two snipers in this tournament. Flanks in from Dexen, but I think he's going to get eaten up here. What's he doing? No, that's not good. Right, and he's forced away. Very lucky to escape there. May still die. Oh, he was having nades teched. But the flank doesn't look like it's going to happen, possibly. MG's now going to face this squad in the north. Oh, that was a good grenade, though. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, first grenade toss, forcing two squads away. Surely, BK Mod's going to have to run away now. Surely. He might do, but don't call me Shirley. Toss on the first grenade advancing over there. Catching it off. Pioneers just harassing this squad, stopping it focusing the MG, allowing the MG to maybe reset up. Will this fence help it do so? I think he's too close now. He's going to have to hard retreat, most likely. There we go. It was messy, but it was successful for Dexen. And he needed that. It went badly at the start with this rifle squad getting cut down by the folks and pioneers. But the grenade being able to be tossed behind this point here then just allowed it to happen, basically. So, yeah, a bit of um, uh, tactical messiness, but it worked in the end. And... It's not a failure if it succeeds. Right. Tautology. Thanks for the raiders, Brandy. Sniper's made his way over here. Now five kills and counting. Infantry squad lost. Oh, we've lost an uh, infantry squad elsewhere. I think that was up here. Indeed, it was. The kickers rise up. So that's one engineer going down and the other one barely surviving.
Rifles advancing back onto the field there. Where are the others at the moment? They're going up into the northeast. And the MG's repositioned. Any good Wehrmacht player will tell you about the repositioning. Supply losing ground out there. Ah, all of the other 297 people were bugged out. It's unfortunate. Could have made this a big final. But alas, you did not. Fitzgerald is forced away. Is BK Mod Test, is he good enough to win as Wehrmacht on this map against Dexen? I mean, logic would say no, nobody's good enough to win on Ruins of Ruin as Wehrmacht. It's just so US favoured. But, if anyone can do it, he can. That's not the snipers down, the sniper get your head down, by the way. And indeed they do. That's true, uh, Vector it is, the Vermushed. And this new faction, the Wormushed. As I've come to hear us online, YouTuber said in 2011, rifles could be going down here. Oh, he did a little crab walk, 360 no scope to escape, and he evaded the bullet. That was incredible. He went, ran past the victory point. He did a pirouette, ran over here, then ran back, thus dodging the 3,000 kilometers per hour Mauser round. Incredible stuff. They're going after one of our munitions points. Such incredible stuff. Very low health on that squad. Yeah, he needs some veterans. He won, doesn't he, Androvite? It would help. Michael Jackson, indeed. Sniper could do with some healing as well. That's got nine kills. But uh, is it 70% health? It's an interesting build order, isn't it? But he feels like he's getting attritioned by the sniper. So get the sniper building building out. That's all it does, build snipers. Should just be called the Sniper Training Center. T the STC. BK is beginning to solidify his presence. He's got a 251 half track just reinforcing on the field at the moment. We are losing a munitions sector. Ah, oh, is it MG spam? How many does he have? We'll see in a second. Oh, it might be spam actually, yeah. There's three, it's spam. Three MGs is spam basically. And he has two, so it's not spam. Somebody time this man out. That's the way we were looking at it, wasn't it? We have territory cut off from supply. Yeah, rifle spam, he has four. Now, the spam rules say you can have four rifles, but five is spam. And uh, you can have two MGs, but three is spam. Two snipers is spam, though. Anybody else know anything where you, if you get two, it's spam? What, what anything else where two is spam? Um, Our front lines are collapsing. Two spams is spam. Two KTs is definitely spam under a fight. Two Burge Tigers is spam, that's true, yep. Because one can repair the others. Two Lukes is definitely Luke spam, that's true. Two M8s is spam. Two T70s is spam. Uh, two Mortars is not spam, I don't think. Unless it's the 120 mil from Co2. Um, or it's the Brit emplacement Mortars. Three AT guns is spam, that's right. Guys, we need to make a, a hierarchy of spam, I feel. Somebody get working on that infographic because the rules of spam in our community are very nuanced as to what constitutes spam or not. Uh, three medium tanks is spam, but three M10s in CO2 is a train. It's not spam, it's a train. <laughs> um, that's two Goliaths. Well, they don't live very long. Uh, Androphite, how many cons? Five is spam in Code 2. Five cons is spam. Same as rifles in Code 1. I think five, anyway. Um, Ostrupen, six. Five is the right number for Ostrupen. Six is spam. I don't think it is, Burge, Bash Lord. I constitute spam as an uneconomical number. 
that goes against community uh, groupthink. So if it doesn't make economic sense and it goes against community groupthink, losing then it's spam. Point. We are losing a victory point. By the way, whilst we've been talking about spam, um, PK Mod Test has been eating up the map with eggs and ham. And uh, there's a vast swathe of red units. FK, Dexon says. What's he saying that about? You gotta go for lunch or something? Or... Oh, Tales of Valor units. <laughs> yep, two Jeeps, definitely. I agree with that. Oh, well, to be fair, <laughs> we've had both players accidentally build a T-17 in this grand final. This grand final of Co-1, the players don't know how to turn Tales of Valor units off. Um, US has not many units. Four rifles. And none of them have veterancy. But don't worry, he's now got a T-17. Panic over, everybody. The heavy armored car that can die to two pack shots is on the field. I'll kill it soon enough. I can if I do this, dude. Don't you worry. There's his army. That's an army. That's a grand army. Gonna march to Moscow anytime soon. Two folks. A sniper. Three pioneers. Two MGs and two grenadiers. Wowzer. No wonder he's winning. That's what good preservation will get you. The ability to keep building crap tons of units. He's also now starting to get infantry veterans seed rolling in. Focused on using all of his manpower to just get as big of an army as humanly possible. And uh, he's just had very good non-attritional play. Very quick reaction speed. Um, and just keeping all of his units alive, basically. Meanwhile, his opponent has teched nades, which costs manpower, of course. And um, he's gone for a T-17, which... May actually lose to a Grenadier here if he's not careful. He may get this pack though. This could be big for Dexan. We've got the r rampaging first Grenadiers. They don't want this to happen. Mine goes off, keeping them out of position. Enemy can he decrew? Yeah. Yes, he can. German can he do anything else? Likely us. not. Artillery support is now available. Yeah, the, he's lost so much manpower this game, guys. He's Yeah. I'll just put it down to nerves. He's, he's had a grand final appearance against uh, best player of the last five years. And he's not played as good as he did versus Pepsi. No offense to him. If you're a friend of his, don't say I've been bad-mouthing him. I'm just, in my opinion, calling it as it is. You know when you're nervous and you play Coming Heroes or you've had a bad day at work and you play and you're just not feeling it? And you got, go behind cover and you're accidentally points. on the wrong side. and uh, He's having the equivalent of that book for a grand final so far. He's a very good player, Dexent is, though. <laughs> I'm not! Bad man. I'm just trying to call it as it is in this tawny final. It's like jitters and... He's just not played lucidly and fluidly. It's not gone well for him. Like... Moving through the Grenadiers there, it's just... His reaction speed seems slow. Something's not quite right. He made it to the crater, yes, but he lost two models along the way. Probably best he didn't try and get to the crater, because now he's had to run away. You know what I mean? Everything he's doing is just a bit sluggish. Uh, at the moment. Sniper's up to 20 and kills now. If you've enjoyed Arc Light, so of high. Um, it's not as high octane as the semi final was earlier. But 
when you're up against an EF mod test that's on form. It's very difficult. He's beaten the very best of us in um, tournament finals. It's the likes of uh, Dev M and Nagano have had incredibly good games against him in the past. World champions of the series. I think BK's probably not even chosen a doc yet. No, he's not chosen a doctrine yet. Just chose it right now! Oh, Androphyte! Legendary! And he prop wars the Amer American Sniper. Uh, because he accidentally left Tales of Valor units on. Uh. We're having a good time, aren't we watching, guys? We're having a good laugh. Having an open casting session where we all just talk and... I relay messages from you guys to the YouTube audience. Their sniper now on 21 kills. T17. Doesn't want no tango whilst there's a possible pack about. Needs to be careful. It's possible, guys. I mean, maybe he shakes off all the nerves, finds his co-fluidity, and just rocks BK with an incredible comeback victory. Right now, it's one of those finals where the rest of the tournament probably had so many hidden gems, and alas, we didn't get to watch them. Rock me, Amadeus, 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 Amadeus. Will he get the counter snipe? Oh, wasn't quite close enough. It would seem. I don't know. I think that's the total prize pool, Mr. Sleaze. I just said it to make the tournament sound bigger. I'm good at marketing. You lie a little bit along the way. Oh, elevator. How cruel. Did he go for the uh, the old counter snipe with the artillery there? He's using this opportunity to push his own sniper up and take out the pack. Jibber, that's probably exactly what it's like. One thing we should point out, everybody, is this may not be Dexen's problem. He may not be playing that um, slowly or difficult. When you're playing against Masters of Movement, the ones that use tap math and are just really, really good at positional play, it's really easy to make yourself look bad. Uh, the best players tend to make other players look worse. Oh, that's pro, that is. He knows the position there. Well played by Dexon for keeping that pack out of position. And can the C-17 finally make something of himself? It's possible. Oh! Can he get the sniper count snipe? Oh, no, he can't. One of our snipers is. Oh, he got counter sniped himself there. Now that's unfortunate. Enemy unit down. Oh, got the kill there though. Oh, but he may die to the pack now. What a bleak map. This has not got a very good lighting uh, system, has it? It looks really dreary when you pan down. <laughs> Doggy! <laughs> no, his surrender button's broken! Uh, what happened in the Premier League today, Doggy? Is uh, a Tottenham winning or something? Oh, Kane's scored. Bastard. Tell you what, Newcastle are doing really well this year, though. Newcastle are fourth at the moment. De Hale. Right, we've got a rebuilt American sniper. Tottingham. Tottingham, hot as bear. Death before dishonor. Sounds like a wrestling pay per view. Get your kit harder head. Either way, Jerry's dead. Oh, they've been awful, haven't they? I've seen some of them. For the country that invented association football, 
England sure are shit officiating association football. They have the worst referees in the world. The most successful league in the world by far, but the worst referees. It's almost like we're trying to fail. Like we have the most commercially successful uh, football league. And uh, yeah, we keep effing it up. Why can't we just have decent refereeing? Why can't we get German referees? They're far better. Take the Bundesliga referees and give them to the Premier League. That's all I'll say. Ah, maybe like WWE referees. They're like, yeah, I see. Vince McMahon in a very tight Polish uh, refereeing shirt, wasn't it? Bounced off the rear of the Puma. The T-17 is useless. He bounced off the rear of the Puma yet again. The T-17 is one of the worst units ever devised. And he didn't want even want to build it. It was an accident, don't forget. And here comes the officer. No, Alfred. We paid for them. Getting out of there. Meanwhile, in the sector. east, rifles are going to hold on for dear life. For the, as long as they can before the suppression hits. Yeah, they really are. He's got an up gun on the Puma. <laughs> He'll get rid of that T17 for good now. Oh, you're. In, yeah, actually, no. Something else died. Ah, he's going in with the up gun. Get him! That's what an armoured car looks like. Not whatever this is. Oh, he missed. Go on, poo poo. One more shot. One more shot. Don't worry, guys. There's another one. <laughs> He's got two boomers up gun. Oh, you don't see that very often. <laughs> He's trolling now. He upgun two Pumas, that's just silly. You never see that. Makes no sense because they're so much better without the upgun against infantry, of course. What a beautiful vehicle, though. So futuristic. I wish the wheels rotated then, though. That would have been better. Just glide in place. Apparently when they turn, they don't move. It, that was humiliation, going two upgun Pumas, to be honest. He should have. He should have just quit though. If you don't quit when you should do, he's gonna up on Pumas to just kill one tier 17 and make his Pumas useless. We're at 100 points and drop it. Sniper, by the way, is on 30 kills now, including a counter snipe in amongst those ranks. He did just lose uh, an MG to the on map howitzer, claiming three kills. Going after one of our munitions points. Exactly, Alfred. In fact, the YouTube video may start in game two by this rate. <laughs> That's such a good shout, Jibber. That's like legendary status. Big shout out to Jibber, the only sign up for my tournament so far. It definitely has golden Rick. And here comes the Nebel Verver. Ooh, Nebel on retreat to get the kill, maybe, on these rifles. Nah, it's over now. Six shots only, like a revolver. Is it six? Yeah, something like that. Oh, up gun Puma. Getting kills for days. be honest, if this is a German sponsor tournament, which I believe it is, they're probably... Ooh, nice shot there. They're probably very happy with the German player BK Mod Test just, like, romping to victory. That's so German. 
they just like dominant wins. Honestly. That's why they're like... Mm, yeah, Bayern Munich won again. Hello? Mm, yeah, Bayern Munich. <laughs> they've won again. That's like... German heaven. Oh, Mikael Schumacher. He won the F1 again. I think I'm going to die. I just heard a noise somewhere. But if they come in, I'm going to hold this beer bottle and jab it in at them. And then spill beer and I'll be like, ah, oh, for God's sake. My sniper's creeping up. That could be exciting. Battle in the centre for the victory points as well. Ah, but there's a King Tiger. He snuck up on us. Hey, big man. Up gun Pumas. And Tigers. What a cool sight to behold. Enemy Trying to get a good thumbnail down. here. Good thumbnail for the grand final, maybe? Sorry about the camera work, guys, but let's face it, this one's over. Oh, the Puma got taken out. No! AT gun crept up. You sneaky, Dexen. He's also capped the victory points. Maybe he's going for a mega comeback. Maybe we should never have... Um, have doubted the man. Big long barrel 88 mil. Going for the kill. The Huns are taking our territory. Weapon crew reporting cash. Ah, uh, there he goes. He's dead now. That's for certain. Got cap in the Enemy north. unit down. Oh dear. Sniper here! Oh, the bikes go for the sniper! <laughs> the ultimate dishonor. German Take the King Tiger and put him in your opponent's base. The Germans are after one of our munitions. That's one way to cancel the howitzer and play back over before it could get destroyed. That's GG. <sighs> I know it's a bit BG, isn't it? To be fair, not to do that. A bit BM rather. Wait a moment, he'll say GG. I, I can't, the replay's over. The file's literally done for. It's done for. That was a big shout out to Dexon, huge ACDC fan. It's the worst day of your life. <laughs> yeah, go Thunder Jibber Jabber Jobber's tournament run. He's going to be playing in an incredibly scary tournament that uh, you can only allow one of each unit. Uh, it's got 200 odd dollars in the prize fund right now and climbing. It is Co2, but we're going to make Co2 very interesting with this because. Um, should be good. He's playing against 15 expert AIs at this rate, yeah. I do have game three, Bullet. Thank you for telling me, mate. Yes, I have it. Some mad the more. Any song requests before we get going, guys? Come on, Bex, Dexen, do a comeback, yeah. This is a Georgian folk song. A Georgian folk song that is an ode to Dexen. Um, so before we start, just going to play this Georgian um, folk song that I was taught as a child. Dexen played very hard. 
Texan came all the way to the final But then he encountered BK Mottest And it all went south from there, oh dear There you go, that's a Georgian folk song about Dexter Suckably yet. Right, let's uh, crack on. I'm sorry, but the guitar time is now over. It's now time for the game three. So uh, let's update the scores. Because that game two was not very difficult to cast. So I do not feel like I'm tired in the slightest. I can do this all day. Delicious. Let's see if my girl's messaged. Can't deprive her. What is this map? It's very bright. Ow, my eyes. Let me change my monitor settings because that is a bright map. Um, uh, something a bit duller. Uh, yeah. Oh. And we'll go with that gamer too. Exactly snuffing. He's just giving me a head start. It's absolutely fine. Don't worry. Mm, playing coup one. Hello there, and welcome to game three of this grand final for one thousand odd dollars. We're looking at EF mod tests. U.S. engineers. The map. Say mad the more. Or something in French. In the north, it is indeed the Kettenkrad of Dexon. Grab popcorn, he says. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Maybe he's been playing um, really, really, really ridiculously kind of um, reservedly. I don't want to say craply. Reservedly, in order to lull BK Mod Test into a false sense of security. G3, then G4, then G5, he says. The plan has been laid bare. He's in fact calling his shots. Much like Muhammad Ali. And the burger boss will lose to the champ. There you go. Much like Muhammad Ali did in his famous boxing matches of the 60s and 70s. He's saying what will happen. What round he will defeat his foe. And uh, let's see how he goes. We've got more G43s rolling in for the Georgian one. It's not genuinely bad. It's amazing. Look at all these walls. Look, you can go down there and cap that, and you're kind of stuck. Um, what else can you do? It's kind of weird looking, isn't it? I really don't know how, how it works. Let's have a look at the territorial layout. Okay, that's a cutoff. That stops you getting that. That's a cutoff that stops you getting all of that. So the cutoffs are deranged, because if, if that... That's incredibly biased, isn't it? Oh, I'm truly really struggling to understand this map. The victory points are on the cutoffs. So that's never a good sign, usually, uh, as map making rules tend to go. And the resource income is pretty whack. Anyway, we're on for a comeback. Come on, Dexon! Everyone in chat, give Dexon your strength and power. He's going to need it. It's 2-0. Thank you for the updates. I will update that now. It's not 3-0. I was just spoiling us all to the inevitable of BK Maltes reigning over us all for the rest of time. Well, the map mate, the, sorry, the tournament creator, Medicus, and his friends wanted to sponsor a tournament, and this is the rules they wanted. So it's their money, and if they want random imbalanced maps, that's what we're going to have. And 
I think we should as well, to be honest. Yeah, more test going with a heavy machine gun team. That's right, he's gone for a W... Weapon support center start. He's gone for the HMG, the 30 cal. That is very interesting. He's also gone for the engineer squad to defend it. And yeah, there you go. Quick setup time. He's going to hurt that P Gren up there. And go and push on after it. Meanwhile, the Panzer Grenadier comes up. Will he be able to set up? He's going to face kind of this way. And no, he doesn't. He isn't able to get that. Many grease guns are going to keep up the suppression there. And HMG forced off. That's a very interesting build order there. He's gone for two 30 cals, one of which is in a house, and two extra engineers. Interesting. Meanwhile, we've got four Panzer Grenadiers and a Ketan Krad, of course. Kampf group is up. And he's going straight into a mortar half track to get rid of these 30 cals. To be honest, it's a very interesting map for MG spam. There's a lot of houses and a lot of choke points, so it may just work for BK mod test. One thing to remember about BK, he has played on many different weird maps in, over his times and many different iterations of Kona Heroes because he is a mod tester. Hence the name. Forward headquarters as well. Oh my. Now that's an interesting uh, plan. FHQ in the centre of the map. Oh my, this could be very interesting. The enemy is seizing our territory. I'm pretty sure that's like a horde counter for Panzer Elite, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, you can build many things from it actually, Jibber. They just cost more money. You can build all of the weapon sports and stuff except for Sniper. I think somebody correct me if I'm wrong. So that's like machine gun, mortar, rifle. I think it's something like that, but they all cost more. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, build rifles. Well, clearly you can. There you go. First rifle on the field. Exciting. Wow. Interesting strat from BK here. He's uh, going for a humiliating off-meta win for game three. Very exciting stuff. And he's using these choke points to his avail. And he's stopping his opponent from getting around the sides there. <laughs> Kathy Normandy. Indeed, nearly got the kill there. There's nobody on the retreat path, though. He should be fine. Ket and Crowd's been stationary for a while, just guarding this farming paddock. Farmer Ket. Don't, know what, don't want to know what he's making. That's his name. Ket and Crowd's were called that because their drivers were all on the drug ketamine. It's a fun fact for you there. Fun fact for you there. The enemy is attempting to seize a fuel point from us. <sighs> well, we all want the Ketan Crud back. It's a very cute vehicle. Right, he's finally able to cap his home fuel. Mortar half track's gotten two kills in this time. Maybe he can start work on the forward headquarters building. Oh, nice little dart around there. And he's going back. Nope. Does your dad know you're working here? Okay, I'll have a whiskey sour. Name that meme. Ah, in very good knowledge from Bash Lord this stream. Good, thanks, Dexon. But... No spoilies, because that kind of indicates how long this game lasts for. So we know it's a quick win now. So with all due respect, I'm timing you out. Thank you. <laughs> Big shout out to Dexen. Cracking chap. I've been speaking to him. He's been helping me with the replays in this tournament. So he's a great guy. Um, but he's not had the best game one and two. So we're all... Hoping Dexon makes an almighty comeback in game three. Can get a lot of love. I'm giving him love right now. We're all behind you, Dexon. Out there and time out land. It's uh, the number one rule in my chat, in my uh, channel, by the way. Go and read the rule. Same to everybody. Love Nest, Devon.
There's a pick up a ball. 30 cal here, but no one's going to take it because that's the bad thing about Panzer Grenadiers. You need bolstered squads before you can do anything. Oh, Armored Core. Come on, let's go. Armored Core hype. He will rescue the game with this death drum of destruction. He's taking out 30 cal immediately. Damage engine on the cat. Here come the boys to save the day. Death drums up to four kills already. And it finishes the job there. Must be said though, we've had a lot of um, fuel control, I believe. Or oh, definitely munitions control for the German player from Germany playing as the United States in the south. Let's go check out his economy. 60 fuel only, actually. Not that impressive. He does have triage down. Expect it to be a bit higher than that. Maybe there's no high fuels on this game. There's, yeah, there's plus 10 there. But he needs that one, I see. Okay. Airdrop reserves are now available. He's just gone airborne. Posts report we are losing a this is an XCOM reborn style strat. Going for weapon support center and airborne. Something he does against Panzer Elite. A dusting off knowledge from when I used to watch Co One streams from about ten years ago. <laughs> and Luftwaffe. Wow. Rifles creeping Panzer. up into the building, then back out again. The enemy. No hets in this game. Hets are going to have to hets, unfortunately. Alright, pushes up, takes the plus 10. 88! You want the flak in this game, do you? 4th Panzer Division Rommel, or whatever your name is. Okay. First time chat from our resident Verabi. Welcome. How could he be resident? Well, he is now. We're making you the resident Verabi. 4th Panzer, we want to know... The historical accuracy of this matchup on Saint de Mer, or whatever the map's called. No hets are equals no Dexon. Oh, it does say Caffin de Normandin in him. Nor. Mandin. It's the Greek. Should just say Normandy, surely. Good suppression again coming down on these squads. They're not able to cap the fuel points. We can use Luftwaffe ground forces to take the fight to the enemy. Oh, there was a big shot from the airborne with the recoilless rifles damaged engine on the mortar. Can the scout, sorry, the armored car save the day? He's going to have to use everything he's got. The fast repair speed of the Luftwaffe ground forces. Oh, it's really difficult right now. You have to take refuge in the garrison. Airborne is sticking in there. They're going to creep around the side now. Okay, they're running into the armoured car. Oh, he can't shoot through there. Surely, yes he can! He's made a gap in the building! Oh dear, that's not going well for him now. Mortar's going to get taken out easily, I think. Yep, another shot. If only there wasn't a gap in the building. Oh, and these squads are looking low. That guy's low. Oh, he's got flamer crits. Oh, get out of the house. No. Right, he's on the south side. He's on a hard retreat. M1 Garand. Oh, the airborne got a kill there. Airborne are having a cracking day. Got Vector C1 already. Hurrah! Out of control on the cats! Oh no! Airborne wrecking havoc. Recoilless rifles, futuristic technology. Ready to respond. Cats are 
Very low health on the dudes now. They surely need to go back to the triage, and they will indeed do that. Oh, G43's on retreat. A lot of heavy cover in the way and stuff. They're actually focusing the 30 cal at the moment, as is the armoured car. Oh, Verbal Vind! Verbal Vind! Verbal Vind! A Vind of Verbals will come forth and rescue this grand final for Dex. And you've heard it here first. This Verbal is the king of Verbal Verbals. He's the Verbal Conigs. Oh my lord, this is going to be tremendous. I should have said Conigs Verbal. That would have made more sense. Go on, son! Oh, he's opening up and he's just forcing everything away. For now. We have the ability to deploy Verbalvent anti aircraft guns. Back in base. Got supply yard up, but nothing else yet. Veteran seats just upgraded. Offensive veteran seat. And field craft. So he can capture faster. Interesting choice. Cal trying to suppress them behind the heavy cover. They get it off. Meanwhile, rifles are pretending they have... Oh, they actually have it now. They do have stickies. I repeat, they do have stickies. Oh, they got pinned before they could get it off. Double veterancy for the armored car. That, res that accuracy is going to be really big. BK throws in the towel. He taps out. We need to check out the match fixing. It's like almost like he didn't want his opponent to get 3 0 Dex and comeback is on. But that was a very strange off meta build from EF Mod Test. And um, he feels like he's lost too much manpower now. He's not got his uh, fuel economy is nowhere where he needs it to be. He's got 87 and. It's going to take him ages to rebuild his army, but he's 2-1 up in the series. Dexon says GG when he wins. You only sing when you're winning. Sing when you're winning. Right, I see why he was checking up on us, because he was winning. He won that one. So I understand now why I thought Dexen had got 3 0 and uh, that's what happened, but apparently not. Let's unban him, there we go. Yeah, he came back. I mean, it was a... Let's just try and break this down. Chat, help me out, because I may have mentally checked out a little bit at times. So, we went forward headquarters building. Two th oh, he lost everything, that's why. Yeah. That'll be why he GG'd. Hard counter from the verbal vind. That's it, that's all it is. He had no AT. <laughs> nice. Snaffing was right, apparently. Snaffing was right. There you go, that's all you need to know. Snaffing was right, that's all we need here. He had no fuel as well. What said I elevator, yeah. Or Aviator. Never known what your name is. I'll call you Elevator. Yeah, Airborne can be a bit of a GG at the times. But I thought when those recoilless rifles were picking everything up, I thought he was doing really well. But obviously Verbal Vind had something to say about that. Fair enough, guys. Fair enough. Series is back on. Oof. Right. I 
I said to him, sorry for the timeout, thanks for the replay. He knows the rule now. I just, uh, I think it's bad from a, a viewer suspense perspective when one of the players says, hey guys, enjoying the game? <laughs> Whilst their game's being casted, you know what I mean? It's like, kind of ruins the suspense slightly. <laughs> Hey, stop being nasty to Dexen now. That's a bit much, Superman. <laughs> Many players have done that on my stream over the years. In fact, nearly every player. Jibber remembers his first time coming into a replay that was being cast live. Yeah, and Dexen just won, exactly. So what are you on about? He won a game. He won a game. And the score is now 2-1 to the My Team Mod test. Uh, you arrived just in time for me to say the score, so that worked out well. Uh, they're probably not the right brackets. My bad. Sorry, guys. Oh, I probably should have put the right brackets in. What map is this next? Oh, God. Oh, dear, oh, dear. All right. Time for a bass solo. <laughs> That was it though, Level Crook, you guessed it. Let's play Name the Bass Riff. I'm going to play Bass Riffs, a uh, very quick interlude, and you have to name them. Uh, game 4 is ready to cast. I'm just giving myself a mental break from it for a second. I don't know what Jam Ranch is, but you have to guess these ones. So, it's a very quick game. Uh, what's the next one? What's the next one? Ooh, this one's a toughie. Um, may help if you're from the UK, this one. Wait. Come on, that's a good song. No one know that one. Blue, well done, Dr. Lazius. Well played, sir. You win. Uh, you win. We'll play two more and um, see if I can play this. That was bang on as well. I'm, I'm happy with that. No, Vector, you're out. You've got to wait. Smoko, you're right, but I need to know the band. It wasn't Smoke of the Water. Cheer up, pal. You're out as well. It was Sabbath. Well done, Smoko. It was NIB by Sabbath. Okay, one more bass riff uh, before we depart on our merry... Oh, this one's a good one. Wait. Trying to make me play Jamrod. Right, Smoko wins. Everybody, 2 1. 
to Smoko. Well done, Smoko. Another great day to be a Smoko. Uh, I'm not playing Jam Ranch. <laughs> just, stop. Ram Ranch? What is Ram Ranch? Alright, let's get my song. Oh my god. Let me mute it. No. <laughs> no. I'm not getting like monetized for for that. Fifty naked cowboys in Ram Ranch. No, we're not doing it. No, I vetoed. I'm not having gay metal being the main focus of this channel. Only a part focus, I'm so sorry. Right. <laughs> it's a new genre. You've had new metal. <laughs> How about gay metal? <laughs> All right then. Come on, everybody. Who do you want to win? Let's do a poll. Uh, who do you want to win? The mighty Dexon. Some guy named PK Mod Test. Okay. Everybody votes, go. What is this map? Holy crap. Wow. Now this is a map. Right, guys. We're going to play Guess the Map as our next game. Um, and we'll do it from inside this point. I think that's probably the best way to go about doing this. Holy shit. This is a map. Oh, you'll be able to see from the tap map, to be honest. Not unless I hide the task taskbar. All right, and guys, you ready to play Guess the Map? I'm ready for you. Uh, here we go. Three, two, one. Guess the map. Who's going to win? What could it be? It's got a big victory point. No, you're out, Exephia. You've got to wait now until everybody else has had a go. St. Merd, you're out. Ashless River, no. Industrial Riverbed. Well done, Alfred. It is indeed Industrial Riverbed. What the hell is this? Three, two, one. We're in game four. We're watching a $1,500 US tournament. And we're looking on the west side. We've got EF Mod Test. On the east side, you've got the comeback kid. It's Dexon. And this is a map. How the hell does this work? Right. It's a bridge map, okay. The center of it is munitions heavy. You've got plus 16 fuel in the south and a plus 16 fuel in the north. In order to get them, you need two cutoffs. One, two, one, two. It seems the native fuel for this player is this one. It's a bit easier to attain, I believe, because. I don't know, that cutoff looks... Oh no, it's still really hard. Is it maybe easy for this guy? Yeah, maybe easy for this guy, but... There's loads of walls in the way. Okay, they look pretty difficult for both players. Now this is a map. Wow. Whew. Let's just let the tap map unfurl itself. Why not, Vector? Why not? Okay. How's that poll doing? Did it finish? Did I actually press go on the poll? Oh, I didn't press go, did I? Or did it release itself? Oh, the poll didn't work. Okay, let's try again. 
Who do you want to win? Chad, BK, Giga Chad, Dexon. One minute, stop, hold, definitely start this time. There we go. Do we have our first engagement possibly yet? We've got a Jeep coming out. Ooh, most people want Dexon to win at this point. BK has won a loss, to be fair. Wow, Dexon's a popular d guy. Alright, it's a Schwimmwagen for him. Let's go check that out. He's unsure whether he can pass the checkpoints. He needs to check his papers. He's gone over the bridge, everybody. And, oh my god, look how high up we are. I'm nauseated. Can he drive down? No, he's thinking of it. His gears won't take that strain. What on earth is this devastation, this bleakness? Ooh, 7-6 to Dexon. Dexon with 7-6, everybody. Batazuma with his VPNs was not able to get BK Mod Test to win. Another rifle out for our man in the east, Dexon. BK with the Schwim Bargain. He's doing alright so far versus this cheat. The first grenade is going to make it unfair though, just cheating to be honest. The name of the map was Industrial Riverbed. Able is here, Able is. Right. Jeep's gonna come for a push. To a rifle converges with engineer support. There's a lot of DPS though here for Dex, and needs to be a bit worried. The first are getting kills and they peel away. It's a 1v1 map. Somehow. It's very big though. <laughs> Gapping up the points here. Both players have their heavy plus 16 fuels incoming. Engineer flanking with a flamethrower, but it's going to take them forever to get there. They have to go up here, go around there, and then join the fighting that way. Wow. There is no other way to get there. Oh my god. This bridgehead is a hell of a bridgehead. Jesus Christ. Yeah, great flanking. He'll be there in two days. It is game four. It's 2-1 to BK Mod Test right now. Oh, Engineer has arrived. Schwimmwagen comes to clear up on IL-5. Burns one flick. Folks around here to death. MG somehow shoots downwards on those rifles. Not sure about that. In the center. Um, this jeep's climbed to two kills. Engineers have a very difficult retreat path. Can the Schwimmwagen polish them up? No, it can't get past the tree. We're now up to four rifles. Ooh, Pioneer's got a lot of health there. Enough to force away those rifle squads, especially with the Shrimp Bargain coming in. He's trying to bully away the Jeep. They kissed for a moment. He's trying to get past him. We've got a damaged engine on the Jeep. Can the Shrimp Bargain finish him off? We've got f six M1 Garants. They're going to put a spanner in the works to the Shrimp Bargain's Machiavellian desires. Yeah, it's amazing, Jibber, that they were able to get verticality working, then they broke it. I mean, just check out the verticality of this map. It's rather insane. And beautiful. Munitions point under attack. Oh, look at his little booty. Cute, isn't it? What a dinky little car. Go on, son. Get in there. Shoot him again. Yes. Right, I'll stop casting like this eventually. I'm so sorry. There is a sniper at work. I believe he's here. Um, he's climbed. He's got his first kill now. 
he's thick, exactly snuffing. Really? I don't remember this one, I'm going to be honest. Oh no, I do remember it being in the map pool though, the same time as Flooded Plains, I believe. But I didn't play it, because I didn't play many games when, when it was in the pool. Fair enough, fair enough. He just shot the... Oh, it's, yeah, that makes sense. He is talking there for a moment. Really, Nico? Okay, bro. Okay. Nick, bro. The man who wanted to go to three GCS tournaments was not allowed. First it was the Polonium. <laughs> then it was Crimea. Oh, big Faust in the front there. Can the Jeep survive? Shrimborgen's coming for him. Reverse Jeep, reverse. He's coming for you. Oh, that Shrimborgen doesn't matter about the water, though. He'll catch up because he can go over the water at super fast speed. Watch. Oh, that fording speed. Go on, Shvim. He's going to get him. I'm telling you, he's going to get him. Oh, his, his ass was too big. Couldn't get past the tank traps. Oh, well. I think they should just have never removed any of these maps from the pool, just giving you more vetoes. That's me personally. If you don't want to play it, don't play it. Because it's it's definitely a beautiful and interesting map. It's a good one for light vehicle play, clearly. Oh, that Schwim wants him! He's a horny little Schwim. He just can't get enough of the Jeep. Oh, I know, Jibs. It's madness, isn't it? Oh, casualty's been recorded somewhere. It wasn't on my screen. Probably here. Yep, there you go. The Jeep died. Got fousted to death by the folks grenadiers. Knife is having a load of fun. We've got five kills now. Fourth rifles gonna get hit again. Ooh, they just about make it around the house before they get sniped. One more time. Back in base, we've got no sign of a motor pool quite yet, but we could have one now with the engineers returning. Four rifles, but who, how many will make it back to base? In the north, mine goes off, pinning those riflemen. Losing ground out there. What a fun game this is! I'm enjoying myself. Anyway, that's all that counts. There it is. It's going to be a tank depot. You can tell because it says tank depot when you put your cursor on it. Fun fact for you there, if you wanted to know cool way to play get the game mine's planted so he's gone infantry to be honest I really feel that M10 spam would be good on this map because it's there's so many places to hide and run away and build up your train could be good could be very good I don't know maybe Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm an idiot. Yeah, he hit the mine. He saw got planted, I think. That's what take, spending all of your time in tap map can do for you sometimes. Ah, if this goes to a fifth game, it's going to be insanity. Do you reckon a Sherman soon? Do you reckon that's what he's going for? Well, looks like he's gone past the tank destroyer limit, so you'll definitely want a Sherman. Use them versus uh, MC early on. Got how it's a shoot available. Shrimvorgan's got three kills now, and the sniper has 11. Wowzer. By the way, we're having. Um, ooh, MG's gone down to the howitzer there. For the 
fatherland utilized. He's going to crab walk away with the sniper. He's getting flame critted though. What was he thinking? He, for the, he thought for the fatherland would save him. And it certainly did in the end. Oh, but the shrimp bargain. That doesn't get any bonuses of any kind when you hit that button. Engineer dies. Grens pick it up. Dexon with a, a nice few pickups there. TF. What does TF mean? Oh, the fuck. Okay. Made it makes sense. Maybe he couldn't retreat or something. I don't know. Goes north. Does uh, BK to deny the fuel finally. A little bit of harassment. Mind you, Dexon has been taking this cut off a lot, so that counts as harassment as well. Observation posts report we are losing a sector. Surely we're close to Sherman. Is he going to go cr Oh yes! <laughs> oh he just He just got a big kill here, by the way. Um in the north. Very, very dead folks around is. But um, I'm just super happy we're going to see a crocodile. And look at a crocodile on this. This terrain. It's perfect ambush territory for what is an ambush predator. It's going to sneak up from within the ravine and grab itself a gazelle, definitely. Meanwhile, by the way, Sniper opens up, gets 13 kills now, firing over the territory. Rifles down to two there. No syphilis. It's perfect sense. Crocodiles are good in water. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. To True. A flamethrower tank means... Yep. Yeah. Shut up, syphilis. No one likes syphilis. We don't care about your logic. We just like crocodile tanks. Sniper is killing me 15 open. kills. Out is available again. Pioneer about to die. That'll be an unceremonious death. I'm going to keep my camera on it. I've, I've really put a lot of effort into recording this moment. There is an engagement down here, though. Do I dare look away? Yeah, I'm going to look away. And back to the Pioneer. Is he still alive? He's going to be rescued by a salvage Pioneer. Oh, he died in the end. Meanwhile, in the south, here comes the Crocodile. Grenadiers are going to get chewed up here. They've got a terrible retreat path. How can BK not have seen that? Oh, he's just letting them go over there. Okay. So he's going to advance. He evades the mine, luckily. Nice shot by the concealed pack. Doesn't hit him a second time, though. Meanwhile, in the north, the advance of two rifle squads is stopped momentarily. Pioneers could be a target. Oh, they get caught up in the treads. That means they're going to die, I think. A little bit of flame tickled his heels as he ran away. Oh, bunker and a mine on those retreating rifles. That's a lot of hurt. Oh, the pack's been caught out here. Go on, Croc. Needs to get around the rear side. <sighs> Targets that crew member. This might mean B BK's got a chance to turn. Possibly. Sniper claiming his 18th kill, meanwhile. Ah, that's very dead. There's another, there's another one, though. There's another one. Oh, what a shot. And it's not dead yet. We have a Shrek as well. This could be a very dead croc. Oh, no. Oh, main gun destroyed. Can he finish it off? He needs to track it somehow. Some way. And he's not upgrading this grenadier. Oh, he's throwing a grenadier grenade. He got out of there. Enemy is after our victory. Well, Sniper claims his 20th kill. Stopping the harassment down there. In the north, um, got Pioneers pushing out. Victory point wise, uh, the Eastern player, that's Dex N, is, um, has really done well on the victory points.
That would have been amazing if the grenadier grenade killed him. Actually, I honest, honestly think the grenade like hit this there instead of hitting the thing. <laughs> Croc troll FFS. Yeah. They're in a grand final for mo more money than has been competed in. In Company Heroes 1 since 2013. And they're doing this. For shame. But also for entertainment. It's a good laugh. Enemy unit down. On map howitzer. Pack down over here. Maybe he'll fire on this area. Maybe that's what he's waiting for. But he's got to retreat now because the snipe is chewing him up. Losing ground out there. Crocodile's going to take a very long time to repair, it would seem. The base, finally, we're going to have a camp craft centre. That's taken a while to build. Um, no veterancy at this point. So I wonder what he's been doing with his fuel. Let's check out his um, choices. He's gone for defensive, of course. So it might mean he wants tier 4 in the late run. A lot of fuel as well, so maybe panthers, something like that. Ah, I see. Spoken like a true uh, four versus four AI player there, dude. Nice work, nice work. Right, ready for another beating. Crocodile here. First howitzer's not done much, it has to be said. Oh, sniper. Misses on the retreating squad, could get another kill. In the meantime, though, Croc versus Bunker. And Pioneers wading up to their nipples in water. Germans Welcome, are seizing Caltron. territory from us. Long-time subscriber to the channel. Germans are seizing territory from us. Oh, registered Arty on that infantry squad. Will they get out of there? Looks likely. That's a fortuitous retreat path, but he runs into it with a 251 and dies. Grenadiers have to retreat back to base with a few less soldiers. Monk it down. In the north. Double engineers with flamethrowers, causing a hell of a lot of damage there. Sniper forced off. The croc has to wade through the water. Gets hit in the rear by a long-range pack shot there. Victory point under siege. The Germans are moving in. Victory point wise, we've got a lot of legs left in this game, it would seem. Folks from ideas going south to rectify that issue. How it's just not done anything yet. Odd. Probably relying on off-map combat groups for his tanks, it would seem, later on. I don't know. Because he spent fuel on it and he's not used it, I mean. 74 in the bag, though, to be fair to him. He's definitely controlled this plus 16 for a very long time this game. So maybe my remarks don't make any sense. Probably, actually. To be honest, these packs have got perfect sandbags protecting them there. But then their opponents could have similar if they wanted it. It does. It's got a little uh, boombox in it, playing Erica and uh, Edelweiss. We're losing ground out there. Banging tune into Erica. Ooh, thundering down into the trees. Next one could be on target. Ooh, he's going to have to get out of there. Yep, hard retreat, as you'd expect. Ooh, rifles have found the sniper. Is he going to try and last it out? No, he's not. He's going to hard retreat whilst he's on the move. Good idea. Go stationary, but then he's got the aim to fire and gets out of there. They were annihilated, meaning he's lost a squad somewhere. Probably up here. Grenadiers have certainly lost his entire squad. That's 13 kills now for the croc. We've upped the ante. Production is now at double time.
still no veterancy for the sniper or for the um, well there is veterancy on the photo grenadiers but that's about it must be going for something big from tier 4 um, but no signs of it quite yet so very interesting strategy with defensive at this point Is he trying to... Can you destroy this bridge? Oh, he may destroy the half-track with ha artillery here. One more shot, one more shot, one more shot. Yay, yeah, got it. There you go. I thought so. Veterans 2 on the rifles for Dexon. That's going to be big. Sniper getting 29 kills in the meantime. Forcing off that said squad. That's supposed to be pushing. Meanwhile, in the south, MG is pressing this squad. And back in base. Got the howitzer here firing. Ooh, just trying to get rid of the pack, it would seem. He's just got these packs in natural positions. It's very military esque for a Governor Heroes back. Losing a munition sector. Ah, and he lost it to artillery. Prop's got 13 kills and amassing. Yep, hard retreat needed. What's this? Another pack? Surely tier 4 soon. How can he keep doing this? 300 points remain. He's doing well on the VP pressure. It's a good call, Syphilis. Maybe uh, Bars would help him push his opponents off the field at this point. MG for the farther landing. To far to land. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. The I win button. Oh, he's getting him on retreat. He's getting him on retreat. Here we go. One more shot. One more shot's all this needs. There you go. He deletes. The MG, we by, by the way, finally have Veterancy 1 on support weapons, giving the Sniper passive healing. Front it's long needed, that. Crowds are grabbing territory from us. We've got new yeah, I'm really feeling we're heading to a deciding ace game. It could be exciting. Really hoping as well that the replay quite isn't in my Discord quite yet. Because that would mean it'll be a long game. Mind you, this one's been a long game, so we're in for a good one regardless what's been. It hasn't been short. Medium length now. We're there. What is this? How is it doing? It's just on a retreat path, it seems, but the sniper's been pushed into it. He's going to take a cheeky shot. Why not? Why not? Better accuracy on a Vet 2 rifleman. It's not going to help in this case. The Axis hold the initiative. Pioneers going in just to harass some more. Crocodile 8 pack shots, it would seem. Oof. There's m more mines here, but the rifleman goes south on his retreat path. They're taking one of our points. Yes, my beauty is blinding or um, nauseating, depending on how you look at me. are taking our territory. Win this war by standing around. Finally getting some good repairs in on that Vet 2 Crocodile Sherman. Only thing he's built from Tier 4, but it's been a good vehicle so far. And you said it would be bad. Sniper's gotten 35 now. Having a very good game, of course. Oh, and the on-map Howitz is beginning to do so. Gaining veterancy one with five kills now. Sniper's got to be careful, I tell you. Oh, I told you he did. It hit the house, but it didn't kill him. Yeah, you best get out of there, dude. Be very silly there. All right, he's ready for another beating. Crocodile Rock, here we go. Still no tier four from BK Mod Test. I wonder what veterancy he's got now. Must be hellacious veterancy. 
Let's check it out. Sorry, fuel I meant, by the way. 265. Yeah, crazy fuel in the bag. That's just a no-go IMO. Mine kills everybody. And so does this sniper. Victory points being harassed yet again. Brock could push in, but he's worried about this pack. Victory point pressure alleviated for now on 267. This has been a fun tournament so far by the looks of losing things. Losing a victory point. We are losing a victory point. I got a bad feeling about this, Sarge. Composition B is in. Troops can now make sticky bombs. We're Just losing tell us where it drops. We're sticky bombs built from the racks. That to Gubermensch rifleman in base at the moment. Germans are seizing territory. Meanwhile, there's a lot of Vet 1 rifles pushing out there. Get eaten up by this sniper. Ooh, that's a bad loss. We've got negative covering coming as well, perhaps. Couldn't get the shots on target, even despite being stationary. Here comes the on map yet again. Right, rifles cap the munitions, and then they're going to push north. They will encounter the pioneers. Maybe they'll be a bit worried about mines, but probably not worried enough to not cap the victory points. Oh, he's going in for the sniper with the croc. This could be a big moment. He eats one pack shot. He's killed the pioneer in the north whilst this has been going on. He's also got the artillery, and he gets it. There you go. Here comes a Shrek. Artillery thunders down on the pack. First shot misses. Pack backs up and evades. Can he take out the crocodile now? No, he can't. Crocodile gets out scot-free. Where are they going to land? There we go. And one lands in the, the lake. It's been a very good game for uh, Dexen this time. He played this well strategically on a very unfamiliar map. Can the Shrek kill the croc, though? He's going to be slowed and snagged on the water for a moment. Can't make it in time, thanks to the vet. Two rifles. Did he lose a rifle in that? Oh, no. He seems to still have four, are you sure? Not sure about that. Oh, did he try? Oh. Med bunker coming up a bit late here. BK decides to call GG well played whilst definitely not completely losing. Not sure about that psychology, bro. He's done that twice now. With that army, defensive, yeah, but that fuel in the bag, I'm not too sure about that. We are going to game five. Dexon played very well, not taking anything away, but BK did not have to GG well played there. He just needed to go and build tier four. Um... You think so, Smoko? Fair enough. If that's what Smoko says, I trust in the mighty Smoko. Uh, let's go and look at the vet on the rifles, of course. Roger. I mean, he's close to vet three on this one, presumably. Next kill he gets, probably. Um, he's got, f yeah, four vet one rifles. It was a weird play, I agree, Nico. Um, it was a weird play. Would you guys have GG'd in this position? Okay, as Brandy. Let's wait for Brandy before we do game five. Uh, maybe. You GG there, but aren't you a rush player? Oh, uh, Nico. If Nakano GG's, I'll, I'll agree because Nagano isn't a rush player. He he tries to um, eke things out at times. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, the players have called it there. Barfy says not when there's $1,500 on the line. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um... It's it's one of those maps that's just not an auto match. It's there in the game. It's a it's an in-game map. But yeah, fair enough. Dexan clearly outplayed him with a better strategy. That was not a troll game. Um, that was a very real game on a very odd map. So it felt a bit troll at times. But they just played the map the best they could. That bridge could be destroyed, and he did destroy it. Meaning there's a strategic hindrance to um, BK. He couldn't easily cap that victory point. That may have countered into his. Um, decision making there because the howitzer could have just rained hell on him 
Yeah, let's... I know I've brought up that stuff, but let's not get into that stuff too much in chat. Just the occasional quip is okay, but we're not here for actual debates or actual conversations. Just small jokes here and there. So, yeah, as long as it's it's only occasional, we're okay. Using the example I've clearly set. But that's more because I own a Garno money and I can't pay him. <laughs> wow. A map I've never heard of for game five, guys. We're going to have a little tiny break. And then we're going to get into it. And it's going to be very interesting indeed.
Have you got your snacks now, mate? Fair enough. Dex is ready to play game five, it seems. Okay, he was get he was leader on the victory points. Let's load up Co One and let's make it happen. Wow. Yes, that's right. Okay, but um, try to not talk too much because I am of the opinion that it's better to create the impression of liveness. If you read my uh, the number one rule on my Twitch channel, it's uh, players being cast do not talk because it ruins the suspense for viewers. It's been the number one rule on my channel for over 10 years. So it's not personal to you. Just have to understand that's the rule. Because I've been casting players 10 years ever since um, I used to cast Co 1 back in the day. And I've always said this because I feel it's more professional if the players being cast don't talk too much. Unless there's something like something horrifically wrong happens and they need to explain what happened, like a bug or a. I don't know, something like that. Does that make any sense? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. You're very helpful, though, when you do talk. If it was an auto-match game, I'd be all for it. But as it's, like, meant to be an eSports tournament, yeah, it's not really, but... I know, RAR11. I just wish we were the ones getting the 200k, but oh well. They do have a better supported game than us with the developer putting all the effort into trying to bring the uh, community... Positions up. I, uh. What the fuck is his name? T90. I. Basically, if if I had better developer support, I could have been. I personally, or me, or Ami Plus I Funk before me, could have been like a T90 style figure for this game. Either me or Ami Plus I Funk. Um, but without de proper developer support and sponsorship support, there's no point doing it, so you have to have a full-time job. Uh, so yeah, that's the difference. AoE 2 has had heavy developer support along the way. He's um, probably still working in lighting, and I believe he is a big part of the City Skylines community. And he makes loads of... Um... I don't think it's toxic. How is it toxic? Has anybody said anything toxic? Is it? Don't know. Maybe. I think he. Uh, Sunday Night Fights was so good. Do you remember the Sunday Night Fights music? Let's play it. it so good. That's how I got into competitive company heroes. I just loved watching Sunday Night Fights back in the day. And uh, TFN as well, which was the Frontline Network. Is it this? This is the OG. Let's get rid of my face. You ready, guys? Oh.
To be fair, it looks like I mean at Relic sponsored that tournament, so it's a bit difficult to say Relic haven't sported uh, as much. Um, but yeah, maybe I'm wrong to say that. <laughs> Maxi boy, that's funny. They did support the scene, didn't they? Maybe your game just isn't as accessible as AOA2 is, so I don't know. Maybe that's more the problem, maybe it's the game. I first watched Krebs Coho um, a lot as well. Imperial Dane was one of my first people I watched. Frontline Network. Um, Bridges and Pounder, I think, was the very first. Or Rogers and Pounder, rather, was also one when I was watching back in 2011 era. Back when um, the cast had 500 views, and that was good. Sandland. Yeah, Sandland's actually been watching this today. He's just not been chatting. He was in the stream earlier, though. Yeah, Sandland's still about. Let's get professional anyway for this fifth game, fifth ace deciding game, because we could be in for a good one. Let me try and cast in a professional fashion. Give it what it deserves, because this is the one that actually matters. Um, make it 2 2 on the scores. Right then, guys, it's not the highest prize pool ever. That would be uh, the World Championships of Company Heroes 2, which had a $20,000 prize fund. There was three of them, one for two versus two and two for one versus one. But the highest 1v1 co-1 prize pool ever, if we go and check my history books. Hang on a second. I do have a history book somewhere. Before we get into this, let's go and check my history books, otherwise known as the Master League, which is a, well, it's a couple of things. Go check co-1. Yeah? Yeah! This might be the highest prize pool of all time for Co. 1. The hell? That's crazy. There haven't actually been that many money tournaments for Co. 1, really, if you compare it to Co. 2 with all this shenanigans. Well, I mean, this area, that's the uh, the big money tournament area. And the biggest prize pool I ever put up was $2,000 uh, last year for the ML Finals. $1,500 this year for the ML Finals 2022. Um, GCS2 was also a big one, if I remember correctly. That was 2000 wherever that is. Yeah, 2000 for GCS2. Ah, I see what you mean, Syphilis. But yeah, this is the biggest one for Co. 1 ever. Pretty exciting, isn't it? Wow. The last... Oh, who won the last World Championships for Coming to Heroes? Ah, oh, God, I can't remember. It might have been a Silder, I think, was in the final. It was definitely a Silder in the final, but I can't remember who beat, who won or who his opponent was, actually. Uh, I kind of... Was it someone that got banned, maybe? Or somebody from a country that got banned? Something like that. Somebody without a PayPal account, maybe? You can't actually ref receive their winnings. The thing is, I only remember the winners of Grand Finals if they receive their winnings. Because I just assume they were a hacker if they don't receive their winnings, you see. Because if AE has the winnings, how can someone have won the tournament? It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it was indeed Nagano with a massive victory earlier this year. Well played, sir. Well played. Well played. Yeah, I know. We're failures snaffing. I was hoping we could be bigger than AOE2, but whatever. Maybe because we've got people like me trolling the players. If anybody else there out there wants to be like the, the big tournament caster and tournament organiser, take it. Please take it. I'm a hostage. I hate I hate it so. I'm joking. But please, if anybody wants to be like the T90 for our community and do a better job than me, uh, because we're clearly losing... I, I'm ready to throw in the towel. I'll just help. That's fine by me. Because <laughs> clearly, I, I, you know, either I failed us all or our game was never meant to be the equivalent of AoE2. One of those two things is definitely the case anyway. It's so weird, but Snow Awesome. And our game's kind of staying the same-ish, which is fine, but... 
are not that are clearly aren't that good. I noticed T ninety is quite casual when he casts. He doesn't actually go that hard. He's kind of just himself, which is interesting. Um, he's very very knowledgeable though, and he's actually a very very good AO two player, um, which certainly helps. He's very entertaining. I love watching uh, him when I have watched him. Let's play this game, shall we? This old game of ours. Let's play it right now. Three, two, one. You're in the room. You're in the room with Dexen. He hails from Georgia. He's in his first ever grand finals for a major company of heroes tournaments. It is indeed game five. Good luck, have fun. And he's up against a relative monster in the north. It is indeed mod test. And the t mod he's testing in this game is stopping the Dexen pain train because Dexen is on the comeback trail. He's telling us to grab the popcorn from the recent pass because this game recently finished. And yeah, he's going for it. He's going with his favoured US faction. The map is... Can somebody say the map's name? I read it. It's Kaglegabriga. Begins with a C. And I've never actually cast a game on it before because this is the random map cup. It can be any map that's ever been an auto match for Company of Heroes 1. And uh, that's why we've had some absolute corkers in this tournament so far. This tournament, as the YouTube title says, is for $1,500 for the winner. I think... No, that's the overall prize pool. The winner must get about a grand, probably. Biggest prize pool in Co-1 history. And it's happening thanks to Modicus's Discord buddies. And uh, he himself, who's organised this tournament. And yeah, incredible that we're having such big uh, prize funds at this point in time. Dexon's going as the US... This map looks like an interesting one to say the least. We've got plus 10 fuel in the east and the west. They've got their own cutoffs, which completely surround them, so you need two points to get a high fuel. Munitions wise, there's a, there's a lot going on in the center. And there's some plus fives around the center as well. There's this also, there's this spine of the map, which is a standard, sorry, strategic uh, points and two plus 10 fuels. What's this? Is that the bike coming to you from the north? And what a scenic view it is indeed as the bike surveys the twilight remnants of an airfield. Goes past the totally not a swastika flag. Gets the bonus of the road. And then off-roads. Past the remnants of the RAF. Who certainly aren't part of this vanilla company here as much. We have had a lot of PE today, but this is back to vanilla. Wehrmacht. Versus the good old U.S. of A. Let's see what these engineers are up to. It's look like they're going to push east with rifleman support. In the west, engineers are trying to um, get through this interesting array of buildings and fences. Let's to say the least. First fire shots fired. Oh my God! We're in a warehouse. With a... Uh, is that a Junkers there, perhaps? Or a Heinkel? Junkers or Heinkel? Play the game, guys. Junkers or Heinkel time. Just says world on my screen. I'm going to say Heinkel. I'm going to guess. It's a Heinkel! Okay, Vector. Well played, sir. Well played. You win today. Board wire has been cleared. We have elected for the wire cutters, if it's seen. Bikes. Surveying the fighting. Trying to get his MG42 in the fight. Yes, sir, he does. Dexen's getting hurt now. What He goes inside the garrison. Does he have reinforcements arriving? They're a little bit far away for my tastes. And now he's looking for a hard retreat back to base. He's got to get past this MG as well. This could be a really tricky retreat path. So he's going to... Ah, fire on the MG. Not a bad idea. The engineer's going to be the sacrifice to allow the rifleman possibly to get back to base. But the MG fires upon the fresh squad. And back to the great escape. Steve McQueen. He needs to, to uh, take this bike. If he can get past it. Oh, he just about does so now. The sidecar watches him with disdain. 
and he's going to have a retreat there. So engineer down for Dexon. Meanwhile, the same Georgian player is taking the fuel in the north. And just keeping an anchoring rifleman squad here. Syphilis, no trolling, please. Let's be nice. There are many plum gentlemen in chat. Don't want to be fattest. There's too much... Uh, fascism in uh, the game already without you being one as well right we're definitely chilling out in this trench for now that's certainly a thing meanwhile the Wehrmacht are advancing and they can just about see that happening in the distance pioneer spotting as in look at this engineer went really deep with the back capping there or the harassment capping rather and the bike's going to gun him down on that long-ass retreat path. What is this? All the way to base. You can see base there in the far distance. And that engineer's engineer definitely lost. dead. That's two engineers dead now. He's got another, but he does not need that manpower attrition. We're losing ground out there. Uh, snuffing, I was hoping someone else could tell me the map's name. I, uh, I did see it. Oh, actually, I can find out. It's in my things here. It's in my uh, my replay folder. It's called Carpike. Spelt like this. Hang on a second. Let me get that for you. I'll put that in chat in game. There you go. Enter. So let me do. I can't chat. I'll have to say it in chat. Here we go. Carpike. There you go, guys. Carpike. It's got night time, by the way, on the atmospheric settings. Very cool. Get a my, uh, sandbag planted rather here. Maybe you could fly this plane. It's got a big cannon, hasn't he, that plane? Very phallic. This war isn't gonna win itself. You've got to win the war then, guys. Get in there. Don't troll um, syphilis, please. Nobody knows if that's the case or not. It's all kept a secret for now. Losing a fuel point. The tournament admins have made it so. Forward supply lines are broken. Bike versus rifles. And the sniper opens up with his first kill. Bike's going to keep up that pressure on. Mortar out for Dexon. That's an odd choice. Maybe he needs the smoke from it, perhaps? Maybe. Our front lines are collapsing. Yeah, I know. They, well, that's the thing. They removed them from auto match when, in my opinion, they should just ask, add vetoes. Because there's only five maps in 1v1 for coming here as one. This triage is going to be a nuclear triage. Look at the healing. Losing ground out there. When I get that healing, that sexual healing. Look at those bars. Ready for war once more, but in the meantime, um, BK is capping a hell of a lot of territory in the north. That, pest, that mortar? I don't know what he's been doing, but okay. How's he going to be useful on this map? I just don't get it personally. I have to wait and see. Gonna launch a shell over this factory here. There we go. Mechanized has their orders. They will now take and hold. Go on. Where's it gonna land? There it is. Misses horrifically. While rifles advance into sniper and MG, MG fire. It's a killing field. That's a good question, Borat. 
Um, well, they've won two, uh, each faction's won two games, I believe. Each side has. Because uh, BK won the first two games and Dex in the second two. Yeah. Wow, he really ran into a hard front there. Both squads having to retreat at a cost of a lot of manpower. Victory point situation is pretty bad for Dexon. Two, six, nine, and dropping. Bikes harassing the mortar, getting around those back lines. And the snipers as well, forcing a hard retreat. I mean, mortars are decent on massive, expansive maps like this with big, open, gaping areas. And for one reason, because they can smoke things out. Longress, for example, is a great map for an American mortar. But in order to get to that position, you have to be able to pull off some decent flanks and to make it work. And right now, um, Dexon's being kind of outperformed on a manoeuvring scale. He's not playing badly, but he is being outperformed a little bit. In terms of getting into position, keeping up the pressure. And he's had many pushaways now that he can ill afford. Arrives now. Does he have a sticky bomb? No. We just had something constructed in base. It's. Um, what's he just built? Okay, weird. Maybe the supply yard? I didn't quite see actually. Well, he's very proud with something he's built anyway. It's so big, Schnitzel, I agree. A very large map. Fucking base for the Germans. They've got camp group centre on board now. And they've got a med bunker about to retrieve their first casualty. He's a strong boy, look at that. He doesn't care about mortar fire. He'll keep going regardless. Thanks, the phone. Rifles pushing in. Got nothing happening in the west. In fact, it's been wired off, which is an interesting choice. Not a bad choice, to be fair. Right, supply odd is up now. So maybe we'll be seeing, with this incredible fuel count, 184, maybe the tank depot next from Dexon. Let's check out uh, BK Test's choices. Of course, gone defensive. Best uh, commander at the moment for Wehrmacht, it would seem. Terror used to be the case, but now it's turned out to be defensive. Mostly because of the bunker strength and the ability to spot more from your uh, resource points. It's like having three map hacks. Also, the first time you use uh, registered artillery always seems to be a good way to catch even the best players out. Doesn't have much warning. Unless you're keeping your eyes directly on it, of course. Germans are seizing territory from us. Ooh, we're going for a, an American a sniper better late than never. Let's go for control group one on that bad boy. Control group on also the Wehrmacht sniper. Ten kills on him. In the centre, bike still just chilling. Only got the two kills. There's been a lot of harassment of this point here. There's something that exploded above my head there. I don't know what that was. Allies are down to 300 points. This isn't I tell you what, the mortars are starting to. He finally got a kill. That's what that was. In the centre again, the bike forces squad off, getting three kills now. There's the American Sniper. The Wehrmacht Sniper's getting closer to it. Bikes on the harass there. MG's at such a long range and he's getting attacked by the mortar though. I tell you what, that mortar's coming in clutch now all of a sudden. Oh, we've got a snipe off incoming. They're getting closer. He's leaving riflemen in a little bit tellingly possibly. Indeed, BK is fading away. He's going for the decloak. 
He's pushing up with his own sniper. Will he be so temeritous? Yes, he's decloaked it. Can he get the shot? Oh, he went prone for a moment but couldn't quite get it off. That's unfortunate. You saw him dip down onto the ground. Mine detonates. And down. In fact, that's a hard push away. Meanwhile, he does actually get a kill of a pioneer in the west there. Our war machine is raring to go. Right, it's gone for armor, as you can see. 170 fuel in the bag. No Germany's sign of tank depot quite yet, though. Maybe he's going back to base to build it now. Just needs a target, does this dude? So does he. Point is being seized. Quite far away from each other, so no sign of a counter snipe for now. Supply line Engineers we have um, probably going to put a mine supply. up here, I imagine. That would be a good place for mine, because it's a sight blocker. Maybe not, maybe not. Dexon doesn't like my ideas. Fair enough. I am very bad at this game. Bikes. Not gotten his fourth kill quite yet. Rifles pushing up, tempting the Wehrmacht sniper into a shot. I believe he's going forward. Oh! Further far to land has been popped. Mortar gets a kill regardless. Maybe he'll take out. Will he go for the low hanging fruit? We'll have to wait and see. Pushes far forward with the aura. The Wehrmacht sniper pops. Could still, still take that MG out, decides not to. And look at the map control from our. German Uberlord. We're losing a munitions point. Ouch. Point is slowly out. pushed up the map with the MG support. And uh, makes easy work of things, to be honest. Been a slow, steady advance. Been like clockwork. To be fair. Supply lines are broken. We have territory cut off. Is he going to wait until Pershing? I mean, he's got so much fuel. I'm of the opinion that any wasted fuel in Company Heroes is... is like asking for disaster. Unless you can absolutely bank on your off-map combat groups coming in clutch. But in this case, he's gone armor. So surely he should have some kind of vehicle on the field. Am I a moron? Maybe. Yeah, he's gone for the Calliope side. He has indeed bashed Nord. That's true. The Calliope side, exactly. Field repairs into... The possibility of the Calliope. Oh, he's getting closer now. Sticky's the bike. Can he decloak the snipe? He's going in. This could be the comeback he needs. Bike Enemy out of control and explodes. Can he decloak? He's going for it. There's a Puma there. Here comes the count. Snipe. Yes, he gets it. Can he retreat in time? Rifle sacrifice for Liberty and for the United States. Oh, this Puma could go deep. He could go well in here. Oh, no. These guys just took a lion! Oh my god! How did that not kill anything? Lost a unit. Oh, he got the kill! Holy shite, that scared me. Losing ground out did that Goliath scare anybody else? My heart's going up my chest! Bloody hell! Supply lines are broken. We have territory cut off from supply. Oh. Well, now we know, Smoko. Now we know. It was uh, inadvertently very good camera work. It's one of those found camera angles when something happens. <laughs> oh, God, my heart's going through my chest like a jump scare from a movie. You will, Bullat. I, I do in endeavour to uh, deafen half of the audience. This new microphone I've got is very gainy. It tends to pick up the peaks a lot. Uh, it probably should have some kind of compressor on it or something. Oh well. My old microphone used to compress my voice a little bit when I scream. Uh, but... What'll be, what'll be. Basically, never use headphones when you're watching my stream. That's all I can say. But then you risk the neighbours being w w woken up. Or your, your dead relatives. So, one of those things. Why do you not have zoom out? Because it's not a 2v2, it's a 1v1. Uh, I think 1v1s are okay to not use the, the zoom hacks, to be honest.
<sighs> I think that he is being bled uh, helps the production though, to be honest. It's one of those things. Oh, MP40 is coming in for the snipe snipes. I aren't able to get it though. Oh, come on, Dexan. What is this build order, bro? Alright, he's going AT gun to get rid of the Puma. He has to, I guess. One of ours. Supply lines are broken. We have territory out of supply. Yeah. Well, surprisingly, really. Aviator, I mean, BK's had most of the map most of the game. Doesn't seem very surprising to me, to be honest. It would be epic bullets. I'd really want that to happen. Supply lines but it's broken. unlikely, I would supply. say, not because of anything like the mortar being built, maybe... I don't know. I don't know how he could have countered this. It's such an open map, so Vermat favoured. Up against one of the best Vermat players of all time. I mean, can you really blame Be Dexen for not winning this game? Nagano, what would you have done as US... He's gone for T-17 again, oh no! What would you have done against US Nagano on this map? This big wide open map, anything you can think of? You're not allowed two snipers by the way, it's been banned in this tournament. Bars. Right, Nagano would have done a four rifle bar flank. Early on, smashed his opponent. Go T-17! We believe in you. Can he penetrate the rear of a Puma? Can it finally happen? Ah, oh, finally. Finally it happened. There we go. Amazing stuff. Comebacks on. Comebacks well and truly on. She needs to push up and take a victory point soon. Calliope rocket battery available. Ooh, we've got the Calliope. Registered RT on the T-17. Oh, no. Oh, no. Run, little scout car. Run. Oh, it's okay. That rifle isn't there. 100 points and dropping. Ready. Sniper's okay for now. Front ship. Crowds are grabbing territory from us. It's been a good day of fun, though, hasn't it? This best of five. Been a bit daft at times. I don't think the players have played as seriously as they could have done, despite the money. They definitely played as hard as they could in games one, and I'm going to say two, but that game three play from BK kind of raised the silliness levels a little bit at times. And I just think they kind of relaxed after that. Game five was played very seriously, but I just feel US um, really were up against it on this map. And we know that BK had the map pick as... Uh, Dexan confirmed earlier. FK. Yeah, you're, you're kind of FK, to be fair. MP40 is coming for the sniper. Well played to him, though. He was up against uh, really tricky odds. One thing's that one thing that makes BK monstrous is not only is he micro mechanically the best co player of the last five years. But also, he does play on a lot of mods and a lot of custom maps, so he is quite good at adapting in that sense. Usually, the top players, the most elite players, aren't very good at adapting on the non-tournament conditions situations. But BK seems to even have that advantage, which is brutal, really. Uh, well played to the man. Both of them. 25 points remain, 21 and dropping. Looks unlikely that he'll get any victory points. Looks likely that BK will win yet another tournament. Kalaifi's first barrage looks bloody beautiful, it has to be said. That was cool, at least. GG. Good job. Well played. Enemy you. Yeah, well played to Dexen. Um, well played to BK. We've got them both in chat at the moment. It'd be good to ask them any questions.
Oh, Dexon. I mean, forgetting to change your T17 twice in a best of five is a bit... And, by the way, uh, BK also accidentally went T17 in this series. But, uh, well played, dude. Well played. I thought um, if we were to analyse the games as they happened, first game on... Um, was it Flooded Plains? Something like that. I believe Dexon had a bit of nerves, and the PE plays didn't really work as well as they could. But then after that, slowly got into things. Game 2 was a bit closer, if I remember correctly. But by that point, you're up against BK's Wehrmacht. And then, there was that weird one where BK went for the 30 cals on Game 3. And, uh, you, you know, he played well to come back from that with the Verbal Vind. Oh, it was a 500. But, um, guys, you cannot blame Dexen for game... Like, uh, like literally, this is like asking bloody... Um, this is like asking Rommel to design a map. You know what I mean? Erwin, design us a map. Okay, um, yeah. So what we want is a very big open square field. Okay, good. Don't, you know what I mean? I'll upload it to YouTube ASAP, guys. Uh, I'm going to do the semis first. Oh, I'm not going to... Dexen did play like a noob in game one, but he did get, he got back, he got into it after that. Um, it was very close. The best game, I think, was the one on Industrial Riverbed. That was hilarious. <laughs> Shut up, Nagano. It's, it's US favoured because of the immense amount of flanking potential. Um... You can flank over here, behind this tree, and pop out here. Good. You can um, flank around here. And in fact, that's what Dexen did throughout the entirety of the game. He kept trying to appear here and here. The one criticism I could say of Dexen is he did attack down this road a lot. Um, and didn't time it early on. But let's face it, dudes. What else could he do? Mortar was the correct decision, by the way. Uh, I've been watching the higher level competitive company here for a long time, and Mortar is the only way Americans stand a chance without sniper spam on a, uh, a wide open map at times. It's the same as, yeah, basically, wide open maps of Wehrmachtsville in a high level play. No problem, no problem. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. We, we had a good day today, and we watched a lot of games. It was fun. Uh, cast seven games today, which is quite a lot. Um, we ended up with 200-odd viewers at times. It looks like uh, Demare's still playing, so let's go and raid Demare. Is he? Yes, he is still playing. His third place. So, uh, let's go talk about it on, over on there. Thanks for the subscription, Necron. Cheers, guys. If anybody else has got any uh, Prime subscriptions they want to chuck my way, please do. 300 viewers today. Nice, Vector. Nice, nice. I did, Dexon. And I was a bit negative about you in Game 1, by the way, if you watch it back at FY, but you did play nervously, I think. Oh, thanks, Dexon, for the sub. Enjoy your second place prize pool, by the way. I believe it'll quite be quite good for this tournament. Um, oh, Vector's signed up for that. By the way, guys, I'm running a new Co2 event. I know a lot of you aren't here for Co2, but it is quite an interesting one. It's called the Diversity Cup, and they can only play with one unit of a type. So if you ever wanted to play a Co2 tournament and you're a Co1 player, now might be the time, because none of the Co2 players are going to have a clue what to do. It's going to be insane. They can only play with one unit of a type, so only one rifleman, only one uh, T-34, etc. It'll be insane. We've already got $300 uh, in the prize fund, something like that. So yeah, go and sign up for that. We've got two players so far because it was only announced today. So yeah. Yeah, so honestly, if, if any Co-1 players wanted to play in this tournament, it's in three or four weeks' time, maybe five weeks, something like that. It should be relatively insane. Um, first time it's ever been tried. One unit of each type. Hang on. One of each type of unit. Not not type. Type's the wrong word. One of each unit at a time. Best way to say it. There you go. Because uh, 
you can have like two MGs as long as they're not both Maxims. You know what I mean? You can have a Dushka and a Maxim, but you can't have. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah, um, uh, BK's getting uh, money. Also, we do have an EF. Uh, 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 we have an Eastern Fronts uh, tournament coming soon, which of course BK will be playing in. The you, the channel for that is somewhere over here, the Eastern Fronts um, Discord channel. So go make your way over to that. Don't know how to invite people to it. Might just uh, copy and paste it there. There you go. Um, that's going to be pretty exciting. I'm showing the secret. Uh, there we go. I don't know what I want to show there. It's a tournament channel. Here we go. We've got loads of sign-ups probably. Ra's signed up anyway. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a bit of money up for grabs there. I'm not showing that on on stream, Nigo, Nagano. I've learned. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. <laughs> okay, me and Nagano have some good banter. There's uh, Nagano waiting for the ruble to fall. <laughs> and then Nagano just pa posts hands, doing it. Uh, face. Afahees, why don't I enable uh, Patreon? Because... I take that Patreon fund very uh, seriously and I don't want to trap people into something without them having the option to quit. So I will announce it in full and email all the Patreons at the same time so they have chance to disable their funds. I don't want to just randomly turn it on just for one tournament. Um, well, that is indeed an option. Thanks for the thanks, Maxi Boy. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to raid Demare now. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. And a three, and a two, and a, actually it's three, two, one. Now, there we go. Cheers, boys. Two to two. Yeah, it's two to two. Dexon was a lucky nitpicker. Let's go. Yeah, yeah,